Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Thank y'all so much for being here. And thank y'all so much for all my beautiful birthday gifts. Um, so I wanted to thank y'all for sending me all these beautiful gifts that I had on my Amazon wish list. So let me go down the list, shall we? So um Miss Kia got me this bio silk for my hair. Thank you. I had that on my list. Um, Miss Elizabeth got me a bunch of candy. So thank you. I appreciate you. And Miss TT bought me these beautiful antique looking scissors. Aren't they so cute? I gotta get my nails done, y'all. I've been waiting on something to come in the mail so that I can get my nails done because I need something specific. But um, yes, aren't these beautiful? So thank you, I mean, thank you, Elizabeth, for the candy. Thank you, TT, for the scissors. Um, I got these beautiful flower hair clips for spring from Miss Anna. And there was like way more than that in there. There's more. So just you know, something cute with pinning your hair. Thank you, Miss Anna. Um, Miss Tomiko got me some more foundation concealer. So thank you so much, Miss Tomiko. Appreciate you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, I got this hat hanger because I have a bunch of hats and it's like made out of like rope and wood and you just hang your hats on them. And this is from Miss Claudia. I haven't even opened this all the way, but. You hang it on your wall like this, and you hang your hats inside, like the um, the round parts go right here. So I think it holds like three or three hats. So thank you, because I have a lot of hats. And they're piling up in my closet. So I, um, I have some cute ones that I can actually display that will look really cute hanging in, in, this, you know, in this room. Thank you. And she also sent me these little cute angel wings and it's like a little candle holder so i thought that was really cute i'm probably going to put that somewhere back here but thank you claudia and also um um miss goddess wild red she sent me a few things too let's see what you guys what she sent me she sent me this lovely blooming hearts tea where you put like this little tea ball and it, it like blooms into a, a beautiful flower. And if you don't have like a glass teapot, you can use a glass or a mug that is see-through. She fit me one of those as well, just in case, I guess. And we open it up. So thank you, Miss Goddess Wild Red. It's this beautiful mug made of glass and this beautiful handle that's all sparkly and golden and pretty and it also came with a spoon that matches for stirring it's like that and it's called enamel water cup yeah she got me that and it also comes with this cute little doily that you can put on top like that or on the bottom side so thank you, Miss Goddess Warre. I got this, and it's so cute. Can't make, uh, can't wait to make a cup of tea with my blooming flowers, a blooming heart tea. So thank you. I got some. Um, oh, and there's different teas on the different teas on how they look and bloom in here. So I believe she got these on Amazon. So if y'all are looking for something similar, thank you. Miss Goddess Warrett, appreciate y'all. Y'all sent me so many cash apps too. I mean, if I went through all the cash apps, we'd be here all day. And I don't know if people want me shouting out their cash app names, but thank you everyone who sent cash apps. I truly appreciate you guys. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, so I appreciate you guys. I got a, a gift basket with a bunch of chocolates and stuff too from my bank. I'm like my bike sending me yes now. I'm gonna be doing something right. Um, so thank you all so much. 
uh, I had a really good birthday. I went to the rodeo. I went to the carnival. I um, went to eat, went shopping, went to the mall, went out with my girls. Um, then I uh, went to the bookstore, bought a bunch of books and just was reading. And I kind of stayed home. And after that, it was like spring break during my birthday. So I stayed home and watched a bunch of TV and just chilled, literally. So thank you. You want me to shout out all the cash app? Girl, I'm going to be here all day. Y'all got me. Hey, me. Shoot. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. <laughs> I'd have to start back from like a week ago. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's too many. But thank y'all, everybody who sent me the cash apps. I truly appreciate you. I actually liked every person's um, cash app that sent me. So I'll give you a little heart so you know that I got it and it was thankful. So thank y'all so much. Yeah. So it was rodeo season. Y'all probably saw me on Instagram at the rodeo posting up. Y'all should uh, definitely follow me on Instagram because that's the only, you know, kind of social media besides this that I have. I really don't have TikTok. Those are more fan accounts. So uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram, she was seven. And I have the blue check. So. Um, it's verified that way you don't uh, talk to somebody else. And a few of you have been like asking me to review y'all's products. And I'm going to do that later because I think it's more for Instagram. But one of my subscribers and one of you ladies that live in Italy actually have an online store. And they were so sweet to send me some clothes that I picked out from their store for, for spring. I already kind of opened them up and I haven't been in the mood to try clothes on, but when I do, I'm going to post up on Instagram. So y'all, uh, y'all follow me on Insta, sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm, I have a Facebook and an Instagram. Yes. Um, so my Facebook is connected to my Instagram. So everything I'm posting on Instagram, most of the time it posts on Facebook at the same time. So, Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah, my name is different on Facebook. I think it's under Ashira. Yeah, okay. Yes, it was Pisces season, everybody. Thank y'all for all the birthday shout outs. I feel so loved. Thank you so, so much. I have this, like, the blinds are closed and the sun is, like, gleaming, like, into the window. So I'm trying to get in the right angle. But I also want to thank all of y'all also, for buying my Sprinkle Sprinkle book, y'all are so sweet. Um, yeah, I've sold a lot of copies, and now y'all, too, can live in a dust-free era. Um, so, you have your bedtime story um, before you go to bed at night or when you wake up or just some inspirational reading that you just need to go and read when you are feeling that you need, you know, some advice or things like that. That's what this book is. And so I really think y'all need to pick it up. It is linked in the description bar. You could also get the paperback edition if you don't like the hardcover. And yes. And also I want to let you guys know, if y'all are graphic designers and y'all keep popping up in my DMs and telling me I need a better designer, um, don't do that because if I wanted one, I'd hire one. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right, just know that. I'm sorry that I, um, that I had to address that real quick, but every time I put something out, whether it be merch or a book, all these graphic designers will come. I'm sorry y'all wasted y'all college tuition. All right, sparkle, sparkle. Don't be bad at me. <laughs> all right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If y'all are <clears throat> if y'all are good at what you do, then I will come to you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If I if I am in ever in need of any type of graphic artwork that I can't do myself or am not comfortable doing, I will definitely reach out to one of y'all. But until then, I'm good. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. 
<laughs> you said there's too many graphic designers. I know, right? Um, exactly. And I, you know, I'm self-published. So I don't have to do all that extra stuff. You know, I'm, my books are exactly how I create them for a reason. Okay. Thank y'all. So, mm -mm -mm -mm. sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all were wondering, a lot of people were wondering how old did I turn? I turned 45. Yes, I made it to the age of 45 and I'm going to make it to the age of, I'm going to be up here old, y'all. I'm going to be all the way white haired. Still up here. Tell y'all how to get this money. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> um, the journal is on the levelupcosmetics.us link in the description bar. So if you want the journal, you have to go to Level Up Cosmetics and click on the stationery section or just type in journal or stationery and you can get your journal there. The journal is um, on my uh, cosmetic store. Thank you, because it's cosmetic and stationery on that store, and y'all can get it there. Um, so yeah, if y'all have been reading, thank you so much for ordering. I'm also working on getting um, Too Pretty to Pay Bills published again with um, the availability to order a physical copy. So that's coming probably. Um, you know, in the future. I missed y'all too. It's been a while. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, y'all got to get the new journal, y'all. The other one, um, they don't make that one anymore or I don't have any more in inventory. And so um, I do have a lot of the journals that I was just reading out of in inventory. So y'all got to get those for now. Yeah, sprinkle, sprinkle. I need to take that one off. So that it's not so enticing to y'all that one pink journal that I used to sell. It's sold out. So thank y'all for selling it out anyway. Okay. Can we have a moment of silence for the woman whose boyfriend of eight years bought a house in his name only, charges her rent, and does and doing the remodel herself? <laughs> Girl, I don't even know who that is, but I'm sad for her. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> a lost paradise. <laughs> that's what she get. That's where she living now. Well, you know, women are so desperate for a man that they'll pretty much do whatever they man asks them to. So, you know, sorry for her. <laughs> you know, I, I'm telling y'all, always tell y'all my my channel, because a lot of people forget this and they start getting all offended. My channel is not a relationship channel. It's a financial channel. Because after you get in a relationship and realize that you, he ain't what you thought he was, then everything becomes about finance anyway. So you might as well do it right from the start. Okay? As soon as something goes wrong in that relationship, whoever that is, it's going to go right to the money. So I don't know why y'all don't start there first. Every time people get upset in a relationship and they don't do right, it's always back to the money. It's always y'all are going to argue about it. So might as well start with it. And you don't have nothing to argue about. Okay? Or a lot less arguing if you know why you are already there. <clears throat> this, okay. And I'm going to talk about this book one more time. If it's not available on any of the things that you can't click on and buy, it's not available on there. So you don't have to ask 80,000 times. If it's not available on there, it's not available on audio, it's not available on Kindle, it's not available. There is not available there. That's not, but then that's where it's not available. I, I can't help how Amazon does what they do. And the reason why I don't want to put it there is because too many people want to take it as theirs. You know what I'm saying? So I prefer it you just to have the physical copy if you can get your hands on it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Someone told me a while ago. Because uh, when they wrote books, people 
would do the same thing. And it's okay. I, I know like books have been out there for a long, long time and people will do what they do with them. But if you don't, if you can't get a book, a physical copy, then, you know, I'm sure you can figure out how it's also on thriftbooks.com. If y'all want to try a different um, place to purchase thriftbooks.com is also selling sprinkle sprinkle and probably my other books too. If not, I know Sprinkle Sprinkle is there for sure. So if you can get a copies from another country from thriftbook.com, then definitely try there too. Okay. You says, do marriages end more often for cheating or financial problems? Financial problems. It said the number one cause that people fight in divorce is financial. Because people don't cheat anyway. All right. <clears throat> so. It's how much effort and money that you've put into something that is the level of betrayal. It's always goes, it always going to go back to the finance. So for example, if you are a woman going 50, 50, having kids coming home, cleaning, cooking and all doing all this stuff and find out your man cheating and all he do is go to work and come home. That's going to make you even more mad because you put in more work than he does. This is why I say don't go 50-50, because if you find out he's cheating, then you'd be like, oh, well, on to the next, you know, and you won't be mad because you didn't put any, you know, any bill money or anything. It's like, okay, on to the next. I'll just get another one. I'm glad I had a chance to save all my money while he was paying them bills or invest in myself or something. <laughs> okay. So it's always going to go back to the finance. I don't care how you try to spend it unless y'all are both independently wealthy and money does not matter. Then you already know he's going to cheat. So that's just common sense. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> okay. The book is about sprinkle, sprinkle. Advice. Okay. Y'all want me to read one? I'm going to read a couple things from this book to help y'all out. There's different chapters, so I'm going to read you some of the chapters. Chapter one, money matters. Chapter two, self-value and empowerment. Chapter three, relationship dynamics and priorities, according to a sprint sprinkle. Dating and marriage advice, all of it's mostly financial. <laughs> In a sprinkle sprinkle type of way. Empowering through finance. Situationships and cheating. Moody calls and cheat. Personal development, attitude and perception, age and relationship dynamics, gender roles and expectations, practical tips, strategy, and humor. Okay. So, chapter one, money matter. Stop focusing on that which is not important and focus on the money. All men cheat. Sprinkle, sprinkle. It's just a matter of time when they do. So find the one that has the most money or who's going to take care of you the best. Okay. I'm not bringing nothing to the table. If you want someone to bring something to the table, y'all already know. Go to IHOP. <laughs> so, you know, there's a whole range of men that have enough money to be providers. You don't have to be in the 1% or the wealthy. There are blue collar men that can pay every bill. There are middle class men that can pay all your bills. There are upper middle class men that can pay all your bills. There are men with two jobs or two businesses that can pay your bills. That does not mean that just because not everyone is a billionaire, you're not going to get your bills paid. That is a lie that bro broke men will tell you so that you stop looking. Or you stop trying to attract men that are providers, okay? Because any man can be a provider if they want to be. So don't think that there's not enough providers because there are. All right. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. Skip ahead. Let me skip ahead. Nah. Yeah, it's better to be single than be with a loser. 
Now, a lot of these broke men will say, that's why y'all go end up single. Well, I'd rather be single to end up with a Dusty. I would rather claim single all day, wear the T-shirt, than have a Dusty on my arm or behind me at the register while I pay. Any day. Sparkle, sparkle. It's a good thing that I'm not single. <laughs> and for the dedication of this book, sprinkle, sprinkle to all of my YouTube subscribers. I dedicated it to y'all. Thank you to my family and to my husband. You make it all possible for me to thrive. So I thank y'all, my family, and my husband in the beginning of the book. Because without y'all, my family, and my husband, I couldn't help y'all. I wouldn't be here. Shout out to my subscribers. <clears throat> so he doesn't care what you've got unless he's dusty. And that means financially. If he's always asking you about your financial business, what you got going on, how much you make with your how much is your house worth? Do you own all this kind of stuff? End the conversation. All right. But y'all need to go ahead and get this book. So y'all could be y'all's dust-free era. Quick. <laughs> okay. And a lot of you, a lot of you write me and thank me for helping y'all avoid dusties or leave dusties or not have to deal with certain types of guys anymore. Thanking me, but you know, you did all the work. I just told y'all what it was. <laughs> okay. So y'all take some credit too now. Because that takes a lot of strength to leave something that you thought was correct alone and get to the, the real deal. Now y'all, some of y'all living y'all's best life, not having to pay any bills, so on and so forth. So I'm glad that y'all listen and y'all actually put, you know, in the effort and things like that to live the life y'all are supposed to live. Okay. You said, can I read something from the situation ship and cheating chapter? Girl, they all don't cheat. You might as well just make sure he's a rich cheater. But let me see. <laughs> make sure he's a rich cheater, ma'am. Otherwise, you're wasting time either way. <laughs> okay. Dang, hold on. I'm going to find it. Mm -hmm. How to get out of a situation ship. If it's a situation ship, then you're not in anything. You can just ghost and leave. <laughs> you ain't got to, you don't need no permission. You don't need to say goodbye. You don't need to write no letter. Because y'all don't have it. Oh, Heidi, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you for the super sticker. Okay, someone says, how do you get over a man cheating on you? And then I tell tell them, cheat on him. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Or make him buy you something and then cheat on him. <laughs> it's my advice. It's not something that is, you know, that you have to sit down and think about for a long time. It's just my advice. And then it goes into friends with benefits and how it's stupid. And if the only benefits... If you're not getting any money, then what are the benefits exactly? Um, telling you about how all these guys are going to cheat on you anyway, no matter how submissive you are, no matter how many bills you pay, no matter how much of a good woman you are, they still don't cheat if the opportunity is there for them. So you might as well make sure that they have some money to apologize with, some money to give you money to start a business with, some money to get your car upgraded with. After they don't don't do what the broke ones and the rich ones gonna do anyway. So it's not about how to stop them from cheating because you can't stop anybody from cheating. It's about how to capitalize on their mistakes so that they make less of them. Okay, and I explain a lot on my videos. You know, this is why people um, give fines out to stop you from doing the action in which you acquired the fine or it just makes perfect sense. And some of y'all are not doing that with y'all's uh, guys that y'all are with. 
and wondering why they keep repeating the same mess up because you ain't finding them. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. You say your man provide all day, but he curses all the time. And when we argue or he pisses me off, I feel uncomfortable. It's just words, curse back. <laughs> God curse them right back out. See, see, see who's gonna win that match. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Or if you watched my old videos, just get his mama on the phone or record him and send it to somebody who he would be embarrassed that he's acting like that in front of. He won't do it no more. <laughs> put him on record and put the video, then send it to his mama or his job or some, something. I don't know. Uh, 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 uh. So y'all have to make sure that y'all are just using common sense <laughs> as well. Because sometimes people got to tell y'all the obvious. Um, yes, everything leads up to the finance and relationships. No matter how hard you try to avoid it, it's always going to come up. So, you know, I see a lot of these relationship channels and people giving advice and gurus and they're, they're like, oh, well, you have to have communication and you have to make sure that everyone's feeling heard and respected. And as soon as that man cheat or as soon as that man say no, or as soon as he don't bring no gift, everything that they've worked on, it don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you have to understand where I'm coming from, why I didn't get you a gift. I'm not I'm not trying to hear all that. Where my money, where my gift. If I'm not the priority, then I'm gonna make somebody else make me a priority. So I ain't, I'm not down for all that stupid stuff sitting down there communicate. I said what I said. If you didn't hear me the first time, get up and let somebody else that can actually hear sit down with me. Okay, we're not playing no more. <laughs> y'all can sit there and be patient with these stupid fools all y'all want. But I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna be doing it over and over and over again. And then when they say, well, what about love? You're going to be like, I don't even, about what? Well, why don't, if you love me, you're going to do what I need you to do without me having to sit down and communicate with you 50, 11 times. Okay. You're going to get it right. Without thinking, oh, well, she's going to want to talk and then we're going to talk and then I'm going to tell her I'm sorry. And then she's going to forgive me because that's what she's supposed to do in a functioning, good relationship. No. This ain't no functioning good relationship. You know what this is? I'm going to need what I said I needed in the first place. And if you love me, then you're going to have it for me. That's a functioning relationship. That's a relationship where the woman is happy. And where the man is doing what he's supposed to do. One job, provide. Okay? So. I can't I can't sit down with somebody and treat them like the child that they're not. So that's why I tell y'all, this is not no relationship channel. I'm not sit, I'm not finna tell y'all to sit on a couch for some couples therapy. Because if I was the couples therapist, I'd be like, okay, you pay all the bills. Yes, you, yes, that's what I said. <laughs> Go find another job if you can't can't get it with that one. I'll go open your business or start you a side hustle. <laughs> Especially if you want her to look good, have your kids and, you know, whatnot. No. Or leave you when she find an upgrade. That will be me as a couple therapist. <laughs> so y'all don't, y'all don't want, y'all don't want. So seek this channel out for relationship advice because it is financial advice. Once y'all get over the little honeymoon stage and whatever relationship y'all are in, it's going to go, always go to the money. So y'all might as well just skip to it. Okay. Well, how do I get him from cheating? And how do a girl make sure he cheat with a hefty fine? The more he have to pay after he get caught, the less he's going to cheat. That's the answer. <laughs> Y'all acting like that's not the answer. 
All right. He stopped contacting me that often, but yesterday he asked if I got a new boyfriend. What is his aim? Um, to, for you to act stupid. Oh, no, I don't have a new boyfriend. And forget about all the stuff that he didn't do while he was with, with you or in contact with you. You need to be starting right where you left off about your money. They think they give you some time. You're going to forget about the money and just happy that they came back. Nope. Now it's going to cost you more. Fine went up. Price went up. <laughs> okay. And some people say, well, a lot of women are having too many high demands in relationship these days. Well, then bypass them and go to the ones you can afford. Go to the ones with no demands. Okay. <laughs> Because some women don't even have to make demands depending on what type of man that she uh, she attracts. Some will just come straight with the money. The only women that literally make demands are the women who think that they're talking to a man who don't understand, um, you know, how to treat a lady. So if you're getting bombarded with standards, with this is what I require of the, of the person that I'm with and da, da, da. if you're getting bombarded with that, then you couldn't read the context clues in the first place. You didn't see that how good she looks and that she has plenty of, of options. You didn't see that you're just a blip on the radar. You didn't see that she could go get two of you tomorrow and double her money without even having to explain herself. A lot of men don't see that. A lot of men think they're the prize because they forget that women like older guys. A lot of women will only date older men. So instead of only dating in one uh, little small age range, like most men do, women have a larger group of men to date. So when their statistics start coming out of their dusty mouths, remember, we got about four or five generations to go through of dates and they only have one, the one they, they can impress. Because they can't impress anything over the age of 25 if they don't have no money. Okay. So we got youngsters. We got people our own age. We have people slightly older. Different races, of course. We have people that are older. And then we got people that's way older. So depending on your taste and your own age and your preference or whatever you're attracting, those are all of your options. OK, not the little window that they try to give you as a dusty who can't afford you. But your opportunities are vast and wide and global. OK. And this is why I'm telling you all, don't listen to the dust. Never take financial advice from somebody that can't even pay your bills. OK, that what you look like. <laughs> You look dumber than they do. Trying to spit out statistics. Oh, did you go to school for statistics? Nope. Did you go to school? <laughs> oh, well, you sure have a lot of inf information and facts on statistics about single women. Are you a women's study pro professor? No, you're not. Well, what do you do for a living? Well, right now... Um, you see, they don't, they're always spewing facts, but can't write a book. They're always spewing facts, but don't, not even an expert in what they're spewing facts upon. They, they don't even have the degree or the papers to go with it. So why are you listening? Oh, Jasmine Sprinkle Sprinkle. Thanks so much for helping me. I wish I had found you in my, girl, they can never make me hate you. Sprinkle Sprinkle me. Thank you, Jasmine. Girl, they can't make they, they can't make nobody hate nobody because I'm telling the truth about this money. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> you say, why do you attract dusties? I'm young and attractive because you're young and attractive, and you don't look like that you want the most. Girl, you gotta look snobbish. You gotta look like do not even approach me if you is dusty. Okay, y'all know what y'all need a nice pair of sunglasses. You got to dress more mature, like you can't afford this. Like I didn't buy this at Forever 21, okay? <laughs> you got to look like, do not approach. You have to repel dust and attract wealth. That's it. 
Okay. Now, a lot of you guys are probably saying, okay, well, you don't look like you're attracting wealth right now because I, I am wealth. Okay. But when I was young and I, I needed them bills paid and I needed a car and I needed, you know, I needed all what I needed. Girl, I was looking extra. Okay. Oh, thank you for the super sticker sprinkle sprinkle. Now I can wear whatever I want when I want. I can wear hats, trucker hats, jeans, whatever I want, girl, because I got everything. <laughs> so I know a lot of y'all are thinking that I'm young and y'all's age. Thank you. But I'm really, I'm, I'm 45 years old. Okay. I've been there, done that, got the bag, came back, and trying to teach y'all how to get the bag. Wrote books on it, made thousands of videos. So I could do what I want now. I am not your step by step, follow me around type of person. I'm like, look what I did. I'm going to tell y'all how to do it. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. I am not, I'm, I'm not your example yet. I'm the, I'm do what I want because I already got the bag. Once you get the bag, you can do pretty much whatever you want. You can get the long ratchet fingernails again. You can do whatever. Okay. You can get them caterpillar eyelashes once you got enough money in your bank account to where you don't need nobody. Once you get his money, once you get the ring, once you get your name on a deed, girl, break back all, all that stuff if you want to. But in that until you get it, you have to attract and dress the part. Okay. Hello, Kizzy. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. I appreciate you, girl. Thanks for the super sticker. I appreciate you. I think I got one of your gifts, too, or something. I know I remember your name sending me something. It could have been some cash apps or some gifts. But thank you. <laughs> All right. And if you're attracting a man of wealth, remember, talk about more than what's on Instagram and what's on reality TV. Like read a book, ma'am. And not just the sprinkle, sprinkle book. I mean, thank you for reading it, but get you a real book. Get you a real book. Get you some real information, at least uh, some fictional books or something. Like, I'd be reading and stuff. I'm a nerd. So I could talk with pretty much anybody. I could, like, you know, so it doesn't have to be current events if you're not into politics or anything, but definitely have some, some substance, okay? Because <laughs> we can't talk about reality TV all day with old guys, you know, because they probably don't watch it. <laughs> um. Read a book, read a book. Okay. You said you saw one of my videos and I said women should always be one foot in and one foot out. Can you give an example of what that means? Okay, that means I need you. I want you. But I also can go get another one. So it, what it means is if you don't act right, I'm out. I don't need you that bad, but I'm act like I need you. One foot in and one foot out is literally saying, if you don't act right, I'm going to the next. <laughs> or I can go to the next. Or you're going to be worried that I might go to the next. That means don't put all your eggs in one basket with one guy. If he ain't acting right and or he's not giving you what you need, then you need to be able to use that one foot that's out to go get what you need. <laughs> okay, you're 1,200. You got 1,200 by chatting online with a guy, but he is asking for a marriage. Oh, for marriage, but he doesn't have a green card. He said, I can stay at home and he will provide it. What should I do? Oh, he ain't got no green card? Girl, sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. Okay, green card marriage. Well, Ask him if you got some more money, where that came from. And if you want to have a fake green card marriage, 
then make sure you go and put all your money somewhere else if you have any money. Um, you know, put it in your mama name somewhere and then collect his money during the years that y'all stay married and make sure he's paying for everything. And when he's done and he, if he decides that he doesn't want to be married to you anymore after he's got his green cards and all the checklist checked off, then you have nothing to lose and you can literally take the money that he paid you and go and live your best life or start your business or find a man that you really like. I'm not like if there's a green card involved, I don't trust it. I just trust the money that comes with it. OK, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> just trust the money. OK, whenever you start to get any type of issues with can I trust him? Does he really love me? Does he really want me? just trust the money? OK, trust the money. Trust what you're going to do with it. Trust how you're going to spend it, save it, invest it and do whatever. But tr just trust the money, not the man. Never put your trust in a man. Always put it into what is going to grow, which is your money. What you're going to create with your money. Because people, you know, people have a lot of options. and You can't really control people like you can control your own money. So focus on that. <laughs> focus on that. And you will never be sad when they act up. When they do wrong or whatever, whatever, you just need to be like, well, you know, you ain't money. You're just a man. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Okay. What should women do if husband asked you to start paying? Laugh. If the husband asked you to start paying bills, laugh at him and act like he was joking. And tell him, don't ever ask you that again. <laughs> You're joking. Don't ask me that again. Ask someone else, your next wife, because it's not going to be me. Okay. I am not Barbara the Builder. That is not me. So go find her so that, because um, you forgot who I was. Okay. Suggest he find another wife. Like, you want a second wife? Because I ain't finna pay no bills. She can pay all our bills. <laughs> See, that dumb and desperate. I ain't finna do nothing. And I'm gonna have me a second man on the side with more money. So do what you gotta do. You know, don't allow people to talk you into something that you did not agree to in the first place. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, bad girl back up. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. With the first date, green flags when he gives you money or offers to give you money and gives it to you. <laughs> when he wants to take you to nice, expensive places and brings gifts. When he's trying to spend money on you as much as possible, that first date. Yeah, that's, that's a green flag right there. So, if he's not trying to push his money to you by whatever means that it comes through, oh, you don't want, you want that? Do you need, do you need something to wear? Do you want this bottle of wine? Do you want to go here afterwards? Do you need anything? You know, like when they're pushing the money on you, that's it. That's a green flag. <laughs> what do I think of combined bank accounts when you married, dumb? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Why can't he just do direct deposit and give you a set amount of money every month? I'm And also, if you're not working anyway, what are you going to be contributing to the bank account? Because I know I'm not getting ready to get married to no man if I got to sit there and clock in with another man. What to do about men who pay all my bills, but I have to work and have cash to save. He says that he can't give me cash. Then get two men and whichever one de decides to pay all of your bills, that's the one you go with, man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You say your bills are too high. Wrong man, then, man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Wrong man. If a man fixes his mouth to say your bills are too high, 
then go find another one. You won't say that. Or you find a couple of them that have them pay off your bills at the same time. And then when you get all the bills paid off, then you can find a man who can pay and keep you up on your current bills. Okay. <laughs> when you have a lot of bills, if you have a lot of debt and you have a lot of bills, you need to have a lot of men. Okay. To pay them off. Then once you get all them debts paid off, maybe you can narrow down your roster. Sprinkle, sprinkle to the one that has the most or the one that's going to give you the most and continue to provide. Okay. Because <laughs> some of y'all out here just sleeping with dusty after dusty for free and ain't getting nothing out of it. You might as well get all your bills paid. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You say you got the bag, rich, ugly boyfriend, through young, though younger, he's obsessed. Okay, Daphne, you understood the assignment, Daphne. Sprinkle, sprinkle. She said she got her <laughs> a rich, ugly boyfriend. <laughs> now, that's the person that I can say that has understood the assignment. So, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> He said, how to stay feminine when he's always late? You be late too, ma'am. So learn to read his timeline. When he's, If he says 5 o'clock and he don't get there till 7, then stop showing up at 5 o'clock. You said stop promoting prostitution. Ain't nobody promoting prostitution. We're promoting. Okay, so it's not prostitution if the man asks you out on a date. You say yes, and he is obviously not in the same league as you because you look better. That means he know he got to pay for you to even entertain him by having dinner with him, by being in his presence, by being seen next to him. It's not prostitution. Okay. Old men like to pay young women to make themselves feel younger. Ugly men like to pay women to make themselves look like they have more than they have. Okay. That's just how life is. <laughs> if you like 50-50, then say you like 50-50. Don't be mad at me. Promote getting this money, yes. If you like paying half, if you like when your man look at you when a bill comes, if it turn you on, by all means, continue. Because I don't know how that happens. <laughs> You like splitting bills at the at rent time. Nothing turns you on more than say that. You don't turn me on at all. But if you don't want, if you already claim that lifestyle and you can't get out of it, and you're just taking the easiest side there is, then that's not challenging at all. Now is it? <laughs> okay. How do I make him lead and provide for me by telling him, oh, you the man, you so smart. I believe in you. Go get that money and bring bring it to me. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You know how to do it, man. Hype him up. Be his hype woman. Don't be his bill payer. Don't be his 50-50 chick. Because think about this. If all men had 50-50 chicks and bill payers, they wouldn't be motivated to go get more. If you didn't want a new car, if you didn't want a nicer house, if you didn't want whatever birthday gift that you want this year, he's not going to try harder at his job. He's not going to look for jobs that pay more. He's not going to try to find a side hustle. He's going to be content with exactly what he's got because it's enough because she got the other half. He will never seek more. Unless he's trying to get away from you and go get a better chick. Because she won't have nothing to do with it. So that's why y'all shouldn't do no 50-50. Because the man is never going to do more than you ask him to. Or that's required by half, half the bills. Y'all can have that if you want. The joke will be on y'all after a while. And y'all already know it. <laughs> Believe me, don't be don't don't be sitting there when you my age 
looking like I should have listened. <laughs> Because I'm telling you now. You said 50-50 with a hook from the back while you're going through your purse at the register. Yep. Aliza. You know, now, if y'all are in this situation, don't defend it. Don't defend 50-50. Find a way to get out of it. Or find the reason why you got into it in the first place. And then ask yourself, why did I think I wasn't good enough to find a full provider? Or does my man even really love me enough to fully provide for me? Ask yourselves that. Don't tell me that I don't know what true love is or a real relationship is. Because all y'all know is roommate situations. Okay? Because if somebody, if the closest thing that you can find to true love is splitting bills, that ain't true love on the man's part. Because if he truly loved you, he wouldn't make you raise kids, work, and then come home and, and cook and scrub and wash dirty laundry. He wouldn't make you do all that. Now, a lot of y'all are confused about what true love is. Y'all think it's putting in work together when you really have the bigger job as a woman. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. <laughs> you said, how can he make, how can you make a rich man invite you on a date? You went to high school with him. Ask him about, ask him if he's ever been to some certain restaurant that's really expensive. And then don't ask him to take you. And if he likes you, he will ask you if you want to go. So just drop hints and clues, but, and then he'll ask if that's what he wants, you know. <laughs> you said, you told this guy how the other guy broke my heart and he gave me money. Money really does solve problems. <laughs> oh, and really, that's right. Sprinkle, sprinkle, get your money. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. How you ask your husband for money? Or how about to, to ask your husband? I do. I just I ask him for money all the time. He gave me cash yesterday. I told him to go get breakfast before the, the kids go to school this morning. He had breakfast already. I tell him to do a lot of things and he and he go do it. Miss. <laughs> I don't have no problems in that department. The OT sprinkle sprinkle had a first date on Friday. Guy spent seven hundred on dinner and drinks afterwards. Got mad because I wouldn't let him drive me home, and he ghosted me after that. Thanks for the top tier meal, sprinkle sprinkle. Exactly. If he's gonna get mad about that stupid thing after spending seven hundred dollars on dinner, then he ain't got the real money. He thought you was an escort, so I guess he thought wrong. <laughs> you don't know who he is. He doesn't deserve to know where you live yet. Okay. <laughs> Literally. With his loss, you got to go start over with some other chick. Mm hmm. Is it weird to be approached or asked for a date by a man? When you're alone in a wealthy, no. Is it safe bet? No. Okay. So you want, how do you want that to happen? You can go like, if you have your phone, you can text somebody who you're with, their name, their information. If you don't trust them, you can ask to take a picture of their driver's license and send it to your sister, mom, brother, cousin, who, who knows? You just have to be smart, you know? It's like, well, I really don't know you that well, sir, enough to go anywhere with you. So let me see your ID. I don't know who you are. If you look good enough, you're going to whip that wild app. You need to see how much cash you got in there and what type of cars you got, too. All right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. 
Who died and made you a guru? Hopefully nobody had to die and make me a guru. They just start listening to common sense instead of stuff that don't work. <laughs> I never said I was a guru. I said I'm a, I give financial advice, ma'am. If you ain't about this money, then you're on the wrong channel. Okay. What if they get violent after feeling you? Then they never had the money in the first place. And you should have peeped that from the start. Okay. If y'all are messing with guys that don't have it, you need to realize you're out of their league. Okay. You need to make sure that they have a job that can afford a woman of your caliber. That means they need to make way more than what you actually need from them without it's throwaway money to them, literally. Okay. Y'all, we have a troll in the house. Okay, Mrs. Trophy Mrs. Why don't you go find a man to give you some money instead of wasting your time on here? Okay. Go read the book and figure out how to get you some money. <laughs> A tr I'm not a, you said a true financial is found at a bank. Okay. Well, you know what? My bank calls me. My bank sends me gifts. The people at the bank ask me how I get my money. I'm, how are you making all this money? The people at the bank asking me for financial advice. So how about that? Shout out to my banker, Sparkle Sparkle. Okay. Iana, sprinkle, sprinkle, thank you, girl. Your homegirl has been dating a married millionaire for a year, and she has been flying herself to him and hasn't benefited from it much. They've broken up now. He wants me. Should I? Girl, are you going to just repeat the same thing, or are you going to show her how it's done? Never fly to him. That's number one. Make him fly to you. You can get him to do that. He's yours. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Okay. You said, why don't I, I, I am making money, man. I make money in my sleep. Every time somebody buy a book, I make money. Every time somebody click on a video, thousands of videos, I make money. Ma'am, every time somebody buys a journal or some of my level of cosmetics, I make money. Ma'am, every time the bank uses my money, I make money. Every time my investor invests, and the stock go up, ma'am, I make money. Ma'am, every time somebody send me some, some stuff to post on Instagram, I make money. <laughs> ma'am, before I wake up tomorrow, I'm going to have way more money in my account than I went to sleep with. So, ma'am, if you need to do anything, you need to shut up and listen. <laughs> and guess how it all started? Let me tell y'all. James. He gave me some money in an envelope. Thank you, James. Sprinkle, sprinkle. He knows I work a lot. Said you need someone to meet up with and distract you from it. How do I tell him? No romance without finance. I got bills. So I work a lot because I haven't found a man that's rich to pay these bills. If you ain't him, then still. <laughs> Miss relax tell them it's like uh, there's a reason why i'm working because the man that's always trying to distract me ain't got no money you got some money you make it work my wild end how to get a guy to buy your first apartment tell him that it'll give y'all more time for privacy <laughs> okay and then, like, if you don't really want him over there, then it'll always have, like, somebody over there or a family member over there saying that they're staying over for a little while. And that way, he won't try to, like, move in or nothing. Okay. The survey I posted, what was it about? Okay. Uh, I do some characters. Every once in a while. And a lot of the character videos are on the members only section of the YouTube channel. And I recently released the Earl videos. 
back out to the public. So you don't have to be a member to watch the oral videos anymore. Also have a character where I'm really ratchet and I'm wearing like all the ratchet stuff that I say not to wear, like long nails, giant caterpillar eyelashes, colorful wigs, a bunch of patterns and, you know, giant distracting, you know, <laughs> colors and stuff. earrings and whatnot. So um, that's Big Taki. She looks like a, a female rapper. Um, and then I have the exorcist priest that exercises dust demons. It's where I wear a priest outfit and uh, do comedy skits of exercising demons. Okay, we're going to put this chick in timeout because obviously she can't get a man to save her life or put any money into her savings. So. I'm going to put her in timeout so she can go be frustrated elsewhere. Okay. I guess I'd be mad too if I couldn't get no man to pay my bill ever. Okay. We're going to sympathize with her. I'd probably be mad too if I couldn't get no man to pay no bill. Now, dang. Hi, you live in a rich neighborhood. Um, how to meet the men? Okay, go walk around, ma'am. Go outside, walk around, go to, go to the grocery store, go to the local eateries, walk, go to the mailbox, walk around, water your grass, plant some flowers in the front yard. I don't know, ma'am. Walk your dog if you got a dog. Go out into the public. Walk around the neighborhood like you're exercising or whatnot. You see a nice car, you see somebody pulling out, bend over like tying your shoe. You know how to do it. <laughs> what if he feels he owns you after spending? No, but how, how can someone own you after spending money on you? Is you that ugly? You need to look like if you don't spend money on me, you can't even own a conversation with me. Okay? This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. If you spend money on me, you still don't own me because you. we don't even have no... Where's my wedding ring? Where's my house? How can someone own you when you ain't have your name on the deed? Y'all, y'all are thinking way off. Nobody can own you. They're lucky you in their presence. They're paying you because you're out of their league. Listen, a man don't have to give you no money if you're in his league. Listen. If you're in a man's league, he ain't got to pay you nothing. Y'all split the bill. Y'all look at each other and wish y'all was with other people. Okay? That's it. <laughs> if he look at you and he says, oh, my gosh, yes, look at my woman. You, you're out of his league. If y'all sit there, split bills, look at each other and wish y'all was with somebody else or in another life, that, that's y'all in each other's league. Okay? So listen, if a man's spending money on you and thinks he owns you, he was mistaken and, and delusional. And the only thing you can tell him is that I'm sorry that you're not used to dating women outside of your league, but now it's time for me to go. Get your money up. And make sure you grab a taser. I don't know why I don't have weapons. They got all these women weapons online now, taser. Little keychains that look like spiral knives or whatever. Old school, go old school, get some mace, pepper spray, hairspray, and a lighter. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm not getting ready to listen to no nonsense, ma'am. That's what I'm not going to do. So, okay. Every time I meet cute guys, they don't know, they don't try to reach to me because because they're cute. If they was ugly, they'd be ch chasing after you with their wallets out, man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's just that's your mistake. They're too cute. All right. <clears throat> you think cute guys got their wallets waving in the air talking about help me spend it? No. 
Okay. He told me he will only give me money when it's for important things. Like I'm important at all times. And when I want things, that's also very important. So if you're not going to put me as a priority, then I'll just use you for my emergency fund and I'll get a man that puts me as a priority and thinks that I'm an important thing. That's all you got to do. Just tell him. Don't, don't accept what he said. Always. You never accept what a man tells you. You always tell him. Okay. Never accept what he says. Always tell him. Well, I'm going to give you money for the important things. No. Everything is important. If I if I need something, that's important. If I if I if I don't have it, it's important that I have it. And so, would you rather me be ill prepared or not have the things that I want and need and have to ask someone else for it? You tell them. You don't just sit there and say yes or no. You you explain to them why. You're going to need more. <laughs> We're going to need more. And when if you have a serious tone about it, when it comes to your money, they're going to make sure that you have what you need. Because they know you're not playing. <laughs> okay. He said, man, get territorial and snap on you physically stronger. That's a dangerous situation. Okay, well, then make sure you have some things to combat them. Like when he starts talking too loud, call your mother. Have her on speakerphone or call his mother. When he starts acting a fool, go and leave. When he starts acting stupid and forgot that legal matters will control him if he can't control himself, remind him. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> oh, thank you, PGR, for the cash app. Olivia and Jovita, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank y'all. I, I didn't even see that. Remind him he's not the boss. Okay, be like, what did you say? Or when you, as soon as he started acting stupid, text your friend, text your mama. He acting dumb. Why don't you take a ride on over here? Then you can then you can confidently say, well, my mom's on her way. As soon as you started talking loud, I told her to come on over. Or my friend's on the way. As soon as you started talking to me like you was crazy, I called him. <laughs> but somebody said they calling the cops. Either way. Oh. Yeah, um, I'm having DoorDash delivered in a second. Or, you know, whatever. Just if they're acting stupid, it's like. If you that territorial about somebody, then uh, you're very insecure. And I can't date nobody like that because it's such a turnoff. It means you don't even have confidence within yourself. It means you're really, really outside my league. You got to get them psychologically first. When you can tame a man psychologically, they won't act stupid no more. Okay. Oh, thank you, Brittany. Thank you, girls. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You got to break them down psychologically right in front of them. And shame that the shame the way that they act. They won't repeat if you keep doing it. You said this gun is on the way out your purse. <laughs> yeah, y'all act too scary for me. Y'all got to have some brains with it too, man. Okay. He said he has no personal power. That's why he's controlling that projection. Exactly. He ain't got no personal power anywhere. The only power he has is to pull the money out of his wallet and give it to you and make you smile. That's the superpower. If he can't do that, then he need to go and reassess his life. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm -mm -mm. You got four providers in courting or in counting. Thank you. Okay, Michelle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I know that's right. Get your roster. <laughs> you said women are getting unalived every day. So are men. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Men are too, every day. <laughs> and then women are getting out scot free too. Self defense, man. All right. 
He said he didn't want to pay for my vacation and went on vacation with friends. Good for you. Do the same thing, but go with a man and tell him you with friends. <laughs> All right. Or get a man to pay for your vacation with your friends. That's even better. Okay. But never pay to go on vacation with a man, especially if you look way better. Don't do it. You can get that free. <laughs> can you ask a man for $20 or 20K for your business? He wants me to be his girlfriend. Um, I mean, if you work the situation correctly, you can tell him I'm, I'm not. I promised myself that I wouldn't get into another relationship until I got my business off the ground. And um, I have to save 20K in order to get to the point where I'm okay with a relationship. So uh, I don't know how long that's going to take, but, you know, we can be friends until then. Well, I'll help you. Don't take investments, take gifts. Oh, you can gift me, uh, you know, the money because if he wants a return on his investment, then you can't do that. So make up a lie about how you promised yourself you ain't getting involved with no dude until you got your, business off the ground and it's going to be about 20,000 and you're saving and doing what you can do and then a huge should offer to help you. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What do I think about men in their podcast? I don't. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. I always ask for start a gift right away. Yeah, ask for your startup gift money, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> okay you want to move out of your house because you got a man who can pay for your apartment but you got strict parents what to do well make sure that man gives you enough money to put in your savings account to where you won't need them or to depend on your parents anymore if you should want to um, not have to deal with him anymore. So make sure he puts a lot of money into your savings account because he can stop paying on an apartment like this. What you need is six months or more worth of savings that can cover the costs of living in an apartment if he decides he don't want to pay for you anymore. That way you don't have to rush back to your parents' house. You'll have time to get another one or find a job or do it up, get a roommate or whatever. But always have way more money in your bank account than you actually need. And the reason why I'm saying that, because I mean, you do need it, but don't, don't go around here moving in and out of places, moving in with people, moving out with nothing, nothing, nothing in that account, ma'am. You need to be able to make moves when you feel like it. Okay. So make sure he's giving you money in your account. Saved up enough before you even step into an apartment. Make sure you can step out the next day if you want with no issues. You said how to handle a controlling provider. You have more than one and you step when that one act up. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So let's say you have a, a man provider. He's controlling. Tell him he needs to take a break and get his emotions in, in order. And work on his issues and his insecurity while you go date the other provider. OK, that's why you need to have more than one. When one act is stupid, go to the other option. How to control emotions during period. You can be cold as ever until my hormones change around that time, even when taking herbs and tea. Tell them, look, is that time of the month? Either give me some extra money to make me happy or get this wrath. I don't know what to tell you. Or if you don't have a man and you're dating, then use that time to do other things if you can't control that. Just focus on the money, honestly. We said, I skipped this. I skipped the chat. Hold on. Thank you, Heidi, for the donation. I don't know if I said that earlier. Okay, okay. Okay, Lady Love, she says she's a black woman who has curves and is considered thick. I seem to only attract dusty men. How can I attract older, wealthy men? 
Okay, if if you're thick and you want an old wealthy man, you got to go for an old wealthy man that likes thick black women, or you got to get skinny. You know, the starvation diet from the 90s. <laughs> That's the way you got to get on. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, yeah. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Do you know it's it's hard to like get to a certain type of body if that's not your natural body? So you're going to have to um, find someone who likes your thickness. Should we ever contact the other woman? Best anti-aging product. Okay. If the, If the other woman is the wife, or the girlfriend, and you trying to get her to start the divorce because <laughs> you know he ain't. That's the only time. <laughs> um, anti aging products. I don't believe in anti aging products. I believe in preventing premature aging. Um, by you know what you eat, what you drink, and also um. Just moisturization, man. Keep your skin moist. That's the only. And plus, I live in an environment that's very humid or humid anyway. So just by my location, I probably age pretty good because I live in Houston or near Houston where it's very humid. <laughs> I'm not dry and, you know, I live in a humid environment. Um, I don't eat meat. I drink lots of water. And I keep my skin very moisturized. Okay. Hi, thanks for everything. You have a boyfriend and provider. How do I hide your text from your provider, from my boyfriend? Sometimes you put the name under a different name. Put it under a girl's name. Then <laughs> Sprinkle, sprinkle. All you got to do is change the name of the dude and your phone. Okay. <laughs> or maybe find a way to dress. Some of y'all are talking about y'all's body's type. Find a way to dress that makes you look more classy and less curvy if you're not trying to show off curves. I don't know what to tell you. Driving around Houston screaming, I need you, girl. I'm attractive, but I'm scared to freestyle alone. Can I bring at least one friend? Yeah, but make them sit at the other end of the bar so that y'all don't look like y'all are together because men will approach one before they approach two. Okay, daughter, sprinkle, sprinkle. You said daughter 28. Your husband got mad when I told him pay entire mortgage. He gave me the silent treatment for five days and called selfish. He wants to go to counseling. Okay, tell him, is he going to pay for counseling? Because that's just taken out of the mortgage. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, you got to get like me. Get mad and... Say, this is what I want. Manifest it, man. Pay all that mortgage. Say, do you want to pay for the counseling when you could be paying for the mortgage? And when you go in there, dress in your poorest outfit, if he's going to pay for counseling, girl, get some clothes with holes in it. Get you some stuff that's been out of style. For like five years, make sure your hair is not done. <laughs> when you sit up in that counselor's office, look like he's supposed to be paying the bills. Okay. There you go. So you go in there and look broke. So he can't, he going to look stupid. Sit in front of a counselor trying to ask you to pay bills when you look like you like don't even get no money. Okay, Chloe, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. Tell him, let's go. And then when you go, be dressed all ghetto and different socks on, clothes from 2000, early 2000s, looking like with holes in it. Get you some like leggings that are like got the little white fuzzy balls all over them that been washed 80,000 80, times. Wear those. You know, um, Get that cheap lipstick that's like that fuchsia color that you could buy for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Put that on. 
do some blue eyeliner, put that on. Somebody said we're fubu. <laughs> Y'all are silly. Look, look like you can't pay no rent, man. Or no mortgage. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. Your provider boyfriend has a Barbara D. Builder. Good for you. <laughs> well, at least he's providing for you, right? Okay. <laughs> you said, and wear a bonnet too? <laughs> anyway. What do men think of girls that sleep around? I don't know. If you tell them that you sleep around, they'll probably think you're easy. But if you only if you only deal with men with money, they probably think they got to be paid to even have a chance for you to sleep around with them. So if you're sleeping around with broke, dusty dudes, that's worse. It's better to um, have said to been dating guys that have real money versus guys that have no money. You know what I'm saying? Because one is a bragging right versus one is, you know, why is she messing with all these broke dusty? Or well, my ex used to, you know, date such and such, just a billionaire or a millionaire. I'd rather say that than just some random dust, you know? So if you're going to sleep around, make sure they got money. So I'm telling, telling you, don't sleep with nothing. Don't lay down with nothing broke. Always be able to brag on your last, your last one or your last one before the last one, or before the, the one you about to go sleep with. I don't know. You said women are broker, then men should pay. If women are broker, then why do y'all have a why do y'all have y'all hand out at bill pay time? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Exactly. If women are broke, if women make less money, then why men complaining? Y'all want to be women? <laughs> okay. What if he dumps you when you get older? Make sure you stay looking younger. Because if he's already old, then the older he gets, the younger you still look to him. You know what I'm saying? So, for example, if he's 25 years older than you, you could just go get another one <laughs> if he dumps you. You know what I'm saying? And still get your bills paid. If you marry somebody the same age, your fault. Don't marry people the same age, especially women. Always marry older because he will, unless he goes bald or gets a big fat beer belly, you're going to probably look older than him eventually because you're doing more work, especially if you're a 50 50 chick. Or if you're a 50 50 chick, you have kids, you're going to age faster than the man if you're working and, and you have kids. That's what you're just going to do. So, unless he's going bald and getting a beer belly, marry way older. Okay. <laughs> I'm not getting ready to marry somebody my own age. What I look like. That's stupid. Another live on leveling up in friendships, please. Sprinkle, sprinkle, Danielle. Okay. Um, what do I mean when men like mean girls? It means they care. If you if you have enough emotions to tell a man how you feel, whether it's good or bad. They feel like that you somehow trust them enough. And so they deem it as like you care for them. So the meaner you are to them, the more they think that you're emotionally invested. Because <laughs> if you're not mean to them, you just ignore them and move on to the next. And you could care less about anything. What's, what's the good in that? If you're mean, it means you still care. If you're not mean, it means you're a boring doormat and they can go get, you're not a challenge and they've already conquered you. So be me. <laughs> not all the time, but a lot of the time. <laughs> That's all you can do. Okay. Why do y'all keep asking if he's control? You, you can't, a man can't control you if you don't let him. You can't control something that doesn't allow you to control it. The question is, what if you're easily controlled? I want you to ask that question. What if I'm easily manipulated and controlled? How do I fix that? That's the question you need to ask. Yeah. 
Because a man can't do nothing you don't let him do. So ask the correct question. How do I not be manipulated by a man because he pays my bills? I have two. Have a savings account. Have a banking account. Have your own business on the side. Have a taser. Don't be afraid to call his mama. Don't be afraid to call your mama. Don't be afraid to call the police. Make sure he understands that you don't play. Let it be known that you are not the one. How about that? How about you have his job number, clients on speed dial if you need them to show them exactly how he acts behind closed doors? How about you do all that? How about you stop playing the victim and start taking the, the, the solutions in your own hands and getting paid from it? <laughs> if you can, you know, because you nobody can control you if you're smart. They just can't. Oh, well, you said you worked that again? Okay, I'm going to be over there tomorrow. What's your boss name that you talked about for 20 minutes the other day? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have him. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and reach out to him. You don't even know. He won't even know. Okay, strategy and being smart will never have you controlled. Stay smart and you will never be controlled. Okay. You can't, you, a man can't control you if you know his boss name, his place of employment, <laughs> his clients. All right. You said you're not a woman. I'm goddess. All right. So. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Now don't 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 fall for the okie doke. No man can control you if you got enough information on them. <laughs> what are your thoughts about cooking for your dad and brothers? How much are they paying you, man? And do you have cars or are you a caterer? Er, er. Uh oh, Pashmina Sprinkle Sprinkle. Happy belated birthday. Thank you, girl. All I've done for women around the world, especially you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh, I'm not cooking for nobody unless they're paying me unless or unless they're my children. Okay. How to know if you don't qualify for a provider if they're not providing? Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Go much older and your chances will, you know, be more. You went on a date with a wealthy man, but he had 15, he was 15 minutes late. I left. Did I, girl, 15 minutes ain't nothing, girl. I would have, I would have been there having a drink and running up the tab so that when he got there, he could pay for it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh -huh. Did he show up? I, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm going to give you 20 minutes and then I'm talking to the next guy at the bar. And if you show up late. You better come, you better come reclaim me with apologies and pay the tab that I racked up. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm a just spell. Thank you. She got the job done. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. These aren't um name calling is no longer like an insult anymore. Those are compliments. <laughs> What am I supposed to be a good, wholesome woman that doesn't get what she wants and lets people walk on her like a doormat? Y'all keep that. Y'all can have that. I don't I compliment myself every day. And whatever else you add into it, thanks. You know, there's people out here that name they, they children Jezebel now, right? <laughs> Look it up. All right. Um, your provider boyfriend acts like he is the prize. How do I reverse it? By having more options or telling him that you are actually the prize and men cannot be the prize. <laughs> okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. He 
he told me I piss him off every now and then. What should I do? Girl, I, like he don't piss you off every now and then? Say, thanks for being honesty. Sorry you feel that way. And stay unbothered. Who cares? <laughs> you said no dust formed against you, so prosper. What book do I recommend? Girl Sprinkle Sprinkle by Shiva Seven. The best book ever. How to date a provider and avoid a dusty. How to live in a dust-free era, of course. Uh, this is the book I recommend. Definitely, if you haven't gotten that book, pick it up. Here is the link for it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. <laughs> you think it's rude asking how old are you? I'm 45. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> there you go how to handle a man that has money but is not financially smart get his money and you are financially smart and save your money in a separate account okay get your money and then when you have enough and you have your finances working for you then you could try to tell him something or buy him a book or send him some videos on how to become financially more intelligent or whatever Okay. 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 Um. If guys are blocking you, leave them alone. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Should the girlfriend ever contact the side chicks and want to know about? I want them to know about me. Okay. First of all, if you are. If you're contacting side chicks, you could be using that time to contact men with more money. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> you know, if you if the side chick, there's going to be another one once that one leaves anyway. You're, be a, a, use that time to attack, I mean, not attack, to attract another man. Don't be dialing no girl's side chick number. You already know he's going to cheat. You should be making a, a list of Things that you want him to buy you once you bust him for having a side chick. You should be going out to pick out your car, the upgrade of your car for finding out he got a side chick. You should be getting your roster up instead of making calls to this chick. Because it's just gonna be another one to take your place. If you ain't gonna if you're not gonna leave or go anywhere, don't even bother calling her. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You need to spend his money so she can't. That's the problem. All right. Once you're married, you no longer call in side chicks. You call in dealerships. Okay. This this ain't about <laughs> you calling the dealership. You like oh, y'all got that car down there? You come look at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm bringing them. He got the down. He got it. Yep. He got he got the down payment. Hey. I got your phone. Mm -hmm. I was going through it. And a dealership ad popped up for this new car I've been looking at. We should go test drive it, right? All right, then. Should be calling the dealership or making plans to go travel wherever you're trying to travel to you work. Looking at next season's whatever outfit clothes you want or some jewelry stores or something, man. What you doing? Wasting time talking to a side chick. She ain't got no money for you. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. <laughs> Why did he block me, she wrote? Because you crazy, ma'am, sprinkle, sprinkle. If a man block you, either their wife or girlfriend came back, or you crazy. That's it. <laughs> Just accept it and move on. Okay. Thank y'all. You say you got to go back to work? Okay. Well, have fun, sprinkle, sprinkle.
And thank y'all, everybody who sent me birthday gifts. Y'all are so sweet. Um, if y'all didn't get to send me something, don't worry about it. Or I, I don't know if the list is still in my description bar, but definitely thank y'all so much, everybody who sent me gifts and cash out. I appreciate y'all. I mean, it's so funny because a lot of y'all, y'all don't realize that some of the items that y'all send me, I keep forever or I've kept for years, years. Like the purse that I'm using right now, one of you guys sent me like years ago. I don't know if y'all still watch, but um, this really nice purse that I had on my wish list years ago, the first time I think I did a wish list, I still use it to this day. It's like my one of my favorite purses. Um, a lot of the stuff, books and stuff that y'all send me that I have on my list, um, like I just keep, and every time I use them, I think of y'all, like, I'm like, oh, you know what? My subscriber got me this. Yeah, that's so sweet. Or when I'm drinking out of my, one of my mugs or whatever. Oh, my subscriber got me this. It's so nice. You know, some of the jewelry and stuff like that. Like it helps me feel closer to y'all and like y'all care, like y'all really be listening and and um, it's a nice way to give someone, especially uh, so that they have something to remember you with. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How do you deal with petty in-laws? Because he works seven days a week and you stay home. Um, well, go shopping, man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Go to the movies. When he, look, get up in the morning, fix yourself up. Just because you stay home don't mean you got to stay in the house. Get up, fix yourself up, go take yourself to breakfast. Girl, go to shop. Go to see the movies, whatever you want. <laughs> By the time he get off work, tell him you're going to happy hour, have you a drink. If you don't drink, have you a mocktail, whatever, appetizer. And then arrive home when he arrive home. <laughs> Popping bags and all. And whoever in-laws is at the house and talk to each other. Okay. <laughs> if you have kids, take them kids to the park. Take them kids to the movie if they're if they're young. Take them kids shopping with you. Have fun. Okay. You said you're still afraid to go to dinner alone on Saturday nights. Well, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> How do you convince him to increase my allowance? Make up a story that allows him to think that it needs to be increased. You get to write some creative stories, man, about why you need more money. <laughs> Okay. 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 Sprinkle, sprinkle. Get things from his guilt. <laughs> mm -hmm. You were seeing a millionaire and he kept pressuring you to be intimate, so I left. Now he's always messaging me. I miss you. What should I do? Say, so, you know what? It's sweet that you miss me, but, you know, you know, I've wasted a lot of time thinking that you were different and you weren't. You were just all about this, 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 and that. And, you know, right now I'm focused on, right now I'm trying to focus on starting my own business and I'm trying to save up some money and, you know, for the startup cost. And I'm just really busy right now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get this money. So, um, yeah, I'm focusing on me now. Well, how much money do you need to get your business started? Just say some very small online business. If you say small online business, he knows he got it in his pocket in his wallet, girl. So then you just name a couple thousand, ma'am. He wants to get your time. It's going to cost him. Thank you, Goddess Wild Red Sprinkle Sprinkle. I got your gift. I said thanks earlier in the video for the tea and the cup. Thank you, girl. 
So always be having your lies together. When people are trying to make up and saying they miss you, make sure you have, you know, something for them to pay for. <laughs> How to deal with emotional sugar daddy. He's mad that I'm not showing him affection. Tell him that you are unable to show affection until you really trust people. And in order to get your trust, you got to be out of debt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to feel comfortable enough to ask him for some money without him always asking or saying something or being mean or whatever. So basically... You can't be affectionate with people you don't trust. And in order to get more trust, you got to spend more money. <laughs> or have some type of commitment that allows you more money, you know. Oh. Thank you, uh, Supreme Azzy. <laughs> I like that name. Thank you. Happy birthday. You said happy belated birthday. Thank you, girl. Will man see you as selfish taker if you're always taking his money? Like, if, Is he always asking you for sex, man? Is he a selfish taker? Is he always trying to get sex from you? Is he always trying to get something out of anything from you? If a man can't sit there and hold your hand and look you in the eye without trying to sleep with you, is he selfish? <coughs> Everybody got needs. <clears throat> Uh -huh. Your needs are just different than his. A man will call you selfish for saying pay the bills or take me to a nice restaurant, expensive place, or buy me a gift, but won't think that they're selfish for trying to ask you to sleep with them and you don't even know them. So when, when someone starts talking about being selfish and things like that, you know, that's a selfish act within itself. Like, who's the most selfish? I'm a win. <clears throat> Thank you, Linda. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, Brielle. Thank you. Thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You say you feel old at 27? Well, then date somebody that's 57, man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Then you're going to feel young again. All right. <laughs> you see, a lot of women are not realizing that sex to women and sex to men are not the same. It's not equal. They want it more than you want, right? They get more pleasure out of it most of the time than women get out of it. So it's not worth the same thing. Ours is worth more because they sought after it a lot more. They 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 seek it out way more. That's all that they want most of the time. So it, ours is worth way more. When we see a man, that's not what we put or place value on with them. So it's not worth much to us at all. So it's not the same thing. So if you're sleeping with a man and you're paying bills in your house, he's getting free sex and saving half on his rent. That's why you don't go 50-50. <laughs> okay. Because think about this. If he was not with you, he would have to go pay for dates. Oh, hope, hoping someone will sleep with him. He's got to spend money anyway. And he would be paying the full rent or mortgage wherever he's living. And washing his own clothes and finding his own food. So any woman that's paying 50-50 to live with a grown man, don't do it. Okay. Opulent intent. Thank you for being a member. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What do men think of women bashing other women? Is it a bad look? Um, if you're a secure woman, you don't really have to bash anyone because you're too busy living your life or living your best life. You don't have to bash people. 
If you're bashing people, it's because they got your attention. And honestly, you should be literally thinking about something else or doing something more productive. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. You said, ever notice that when men lie, society blames women for being gullible and not following their intuition. But when women lie, society acts like we're evil, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Trini, yes, you're right. You know why they say that women are evil? Because if we're supposed to be dumb, gullible, and weak, but we get one up over on you, then it must be the devil. It must be evil. We can't be that smart and, and uh, strategic. We must have some superpowers on from the dark side that's aiding us because we're not smart enough. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> All right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. It must be. Can't, can't be, be obvious. They can't be smarter. Blame it on whatever you want. Just give me my money. I don't care. <laughs> you say you learn to be evil from men, though? <laughs> yeah, because they're smart enough. Who I think of feminism? Don't go 50 50. Or else you done. <laughs> Doesn't mean you can't have your own money. It just means you're not going to spend yours on what he's supposed to be spending it on. Okay. The smartest form of feminism is not coming out your own pocket, saving yours and spending his. That's the strongest form. Okay. <laughs> get his, get yours, and spend his and save yours. There you go. Got fired and he wants me to find a job. Should I dump him? Hands, yellow hands. What? Oh, emojis. No, tell him. Say, let's say if you can find one first. <laughs> All right. You say uh, you'd rather be single than stay involved with a dusty for real? Yes. You're allowing him to skip rent for two months so he can move, save and move out. If you have another one that's paying the rent, you got you a sugar daddy on the side waiting on him to leave so that he can move on up. <laughs> Perhaps, but never let a man stay with you rent free because all he's going to do is start coming up with excuses of why he can't leave. You need to tell him to make a call to his mama. Sprinkle, sprinkle, or get him a paycheck uh, payday loan. <laughs> All right. Why y'all so nice? Look, you are a woman, not a bank, not a payday loan. You tell him to go straight over there, get you a payday loan and get the F out. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, Talisha, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. What you look like letting a man live rent free? Dumb. You better, you better go help him find a payday loan and tell him to get on out. <laughs> if he got a car, they got them auto loans. I don't know. You better go help him find a, a way to get some money that's not your money. What what do men think of twin flames? Uh, free shelter. That's what they think. When they don't have shelter, that's when they start thinking like that. 
Okay. <clears throat> Men only start talking spiritual and love and all this kind of stuff when they ain't got no money. Okay. Otherwise, they know everything. They know more about this than that. They're trying to avoid commitment as much as possible if, if they got some money. When they ain't got no money, they want to be your soulmate, twin flame, dusty pet. <laughs> okay. Because that means they got a place to live. Uh oh, thank you, Mimi. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, whenever they start talking that crap, they broke. <laughs> or they want you to give more than what they're giving you. Nope, I, I'm sorry. I don't believe in that. I believe in you pay all the bills. Because that's what, if there was such thing as a, a, a twin flame or a soulmate, they pay the bills. I know you ain't here because you ain't paying the bill. <laughs> Get it? So you can't trick nobody that's smart. You're going to be like, okay, well, my soulmate pays all the bills and I don't work anymore. So that that's not you. I know you ain't my soulmate. Or my twin flame because uh, guess what? The bills will be paid and I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you about this. And that would be. <laughs> you said Shira, I'm the man or I'm a man. I am more man than a lot of people. Yes. My bank account is more manly than many people. That doesn't mean I'm a male. <laughs> okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle, but I did get money from my man to help you. Y'all give a shout out to James, sprinkle, sprinkle. For being my sugar daddy. <laughs> when we first met. <laughs> All right. You refuse to act like a man because it means Dusty's can be lazy. Exactly. Thoughts on st starting from rock bottom. You want to live on your own? You 28? You have a roster? Girl, you started late in life. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What the heck you been doing? Honestly, it's not starting from rock bottom. It's just starting. Maybe you can get a roommate. Or maybe you can just go find an old sugar daddy. <laughs> yeah. But, I, you know, I can't talk. <clears throat> you know, I never lived on my own. I just went straight from my mama house to James. <laughs> I'm spoiled, though. Good luck with that, ma'am. No, try taking the shortcut like I did. Go find your sugar daddy. Struggle is not for everybody. <laughs> okay. I lived at my parents' house until I moved in with James. Yeah. I never, I ain't had to pay no rents. <clears throat> yeah, I'm married. Been married for since 2006 a oh, while wow. and i moved in with james way before i got married to him so i think we lived together since 2001 i've been with him since 2001 Potential spent 2K first week of meeting. He mentioned marriage and first date. On first date, girl, red flag. I asked for a large sum and he said he can only spend so much as a such hug money on huge money on his wife. Okay. Then he's not looking for a wife. Okay. So, okay. So, and I can't do anything with a man until he could spend huge money. <laughs> I guess we had a standstill. Say, I don't know if you're a provider, and I'm not going to marry a man who can't provide. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sorry, I'm not sure that you can provide. 
the type of lifestyle that I'm looking for my husband to provide. Okay. said, why did your husband say he better get his money up before you leave him? You're doing something wrong. No, you're doing something right, man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's a compliment. Y'all need to start recognizing compliments. When a man say he got to get his money up before you leave him, that means you're inspiring him to earn more money so he can keep you because he already know that you're going to go replace him with somebody with more money if he don't continue to grow his. Okay? Listen, listen. <laughs> oh, Alisa, sprinkle, sprinkle. Happy birthday. Um, sprinkle, sprinkle. You don't you don't want no legal tax problems. Um, then start off on Etsy Gare. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Just they got stuff that you just fill out the information. Once you get on Etsy, you just fill it out, fill out all your information. And you say you're trying to get an LLC? Girl, you need to hire a, um, uh, if unless you sell over a certain amount of money on those stores, there you don't have to have no LLC. You know what I'm saying? Um, but if you plan on making a lot of money, then eventually you can you can get one online. Just fill out the paperwork online, girl. It's that easy. Just Google them, Google. It's literally a Google thing. You just Google it and it'll give you a website. And all you do is fill out the paperwork online. All right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you for the donation. How did I freestyle at the bars when I was broke? Girl, I look so good. People just bought me drinks. <laughs> I just sit there. I'd order a drink. One drink. Next thing I knew, people was lining up to buy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's how. Oh, Janie. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Gotta look good. <laughs> or if you don't look good enough for people to buy you drinks when you go out, then you better know the bartender or know the owner of the bar. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, I remember I used to go to this one place and drink that I knew the bar owner at. I had no tabs. Another time I went to drink and I already knew guys in there would always offer to buy me drinks. So that's where I went. You got to know where to go. Okay. How do you handle judgmental comments from other people because I don't work and he provides for me? Um, ask, hand them all your bills and, and say, you know, I don't really care unless you're paying these. <laughs> <laughs> say, so that's me and my man's business, not none of yours. If he wants to pay my bills, let him. He, he wants me to stay home. Blame it on your man. You're going to get so sick of hearing about He wants me to stay home. Just like, what's his name? Augusto. <laughs> Augusto said, where's my man? He's in the other room, sir. All right. My man wants me to be relaxed and not having to stress out and work all the time. What is your opinion on pro athletes, men in the entertainment industry? Um, clout, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sure, I have an interview for a NICU position. I don't even know what that means, but any sprinkle, sprinkle advice on leaving to leave a lasting impression on the interviewers? Yeah, look good, sprinkle, sprinkle. If they want to see your face every day in the office, they're gonna hire you. If they don't, they ain't. <laughs> Okay. Don't intimidate. Make it look like 
And they want to see you every day. I can't wait to see you every day in the office. <laughs> sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> you look better than all the other candidates. And you don't have any bad things on your record. You're probably going to get hired. Okay. Especially if it's a man that's interviewing you. If it's a woman, give her compliments. There, there you go. You say you on Wall Street with no degree, Rose? I know that's right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You said you've got hired for your beauty before. Good for you, yes. Look so good you can get people to hire you that's not even hiring. <laughs> okay. Girl, I went and got a job they weren't even hiring when I was younger. We ain't hiring, but uh. <laughs> Let me see what I can do. Do I think celebrities or very rich girls should also marry much older rich men? Um, yes. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> First of all, if I if I was a celebrity out there in Hollywood or the music industry or whatever, I'm gonna I'm gonna marry somebody still that's older than me and that I look better than. That's it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm not getting ready to be no, I don't care. I, I need you to treat me like the woman and the prize that I am. I don't care how many movies you've been in, what song you got on the charts, but I need to look way better than you. And you need to have more money than me. And you need to be older. That's it, period. Either way, I'm not getting ready to do no equals and no situation. Oh, Mimi, sprinkle, sprinkle. You said Captain Zeta Jones. <laughs> exactly. Okay. We ain't doing it. You want to be embarrassed in the headlines? <laughs> okay, then. Then be smart still. Okay. Is 27 too old to expect a provider? Not if he's eight, not if he's 67, ma'am. You don't know how to do math? You think a 67-year-old man thinks a 27-year-old girl is too old to be provided for? You think a 57-year-old man thinks a 27-year-old woman is too old to be provided for, especially if you look way better than him? Your math ain't mathing, ma'am. Unless you, unless you look old, way older than 27, you didn't take care of yourself. You look at 50 at 27, we might have a problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. You said, what? He told me to change my citizenship so he could put the house on my name and we get married in five years. I'm 21. He's 33. I don't know how much is that house worth. But is, do he owe taxes on it? You know, you got to do all the financial research on that. Man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> sprinkle, Do what's best for you financially. That's all I'm going to tell you. Oh, uh, Claire, YouTube has been recommending my videos, but you heard the channel is only for black women. Should you be watching? Girl, there's more. There's. There's Asian women, black women, white women. What well, uh, Native American women? <laughs> East Indian? Come on now, sparkle, sparkle. It's for any woman who bought their bag. 
Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hannah says she's white. She says, shout out to Hannah. Ever since I've started my channel, I've had uh, so many different types of women on this channel. It's for anybody who wants to listen. It don't even matter. Hispanic women, Mexican women, Slavic women, all types of women. Even guys, there's some guys on here. All right. So there's some women in wheelchairs too. <laughs> Y'all yeah, feel that. How can I level up while living with negative and controlling family? Why do y'all always come to me with this family stuff? Look, y'all need to be like me when I was young. Keep your business to yourself. Get out the house, date, and come back in, sneak around, and do what you got to do, or find you a sugar daddy and move out. But y'all got to take y'all's lives into y'all's own hands. Y'all will never be free if y'all always ducking and dodging family members or afraid to do stuff. Y'all got to make a decision. How do you want to live? If you are over the age of 18 and you are legally grown, nobody really can control you unless you don't have any place to live. Then you need to follow people's rules when it comes to living. If you lie and say you got a job and say you got to work late and lie and really just be going out, then, you know, you got to figure out how you can lie to get what you need in this world. So, for example, if you or if your parents don't let you out late, then lie and say you got a job. Or really get a job, then quit it. And, and then go do something else. <laughs> you know, go out, go, go date, do whatever. Or find a job that you can date while you're at work on or something. <laughs> but I would definitely not be worried about no strict parents if I'm over the age of 18 or if I can work for myself. Okay. Because you might not have to work long if you look good. Do men look at you differently if you own a home? Probably. So don't tell them. Tell them it's rented. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Or you're just living there with a roommate or it's your parents' house. Just be lying, okay? Don't ever give them any financial information that they didn't ask for, they don't need. That's not going to help them give you more money. Tell them it's your grandma's house. I don't know. Just lie. Don't tell them you own it. Um. Any advice about going through phones? If it's the cash app yourself from his cash app, then or Venmo, whatever, then good, good for you. If you're looking for anything else that doesn't end in money, if you find something that make sure you're getting some money out of it, whatever you're looking for, make sure you're getting paid for it. But it also shows like you don't trust that person, and it's also a level of insecurity. But if it's if if you're trying to get money out of him, like you, you're trying to get the upgrade on that vehicle, and you. And you find out he's cheating, and that's the only way you're going to find out? Well, then get your vehicle, ma'am. Yes. But I don't recommend looking through phones unless you're willing to go through whatever you're going through. Like, you find out he's cheating, you better upgrade your vehicle. Don't get mad and be like, oh, it's like, okay, well, I've been needing a new car. <laughs> How to cast, the, you got the wrong channel, ma'am, sprinkle, sprinkle. You start once you girl, wait till the moon, wait till the moon is full and sleep with him with no protection. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hope, uh, hopefully you ain't got no diseases. Then hopefully you'll get pregnant. <laughs> I don't know, child. Watch my other channel. I'm getting to know a guy. What should I look out for? If when he stops spinning. <laughs> uh oh, Mimi, sprinkle, sprinkle. You have a date on Friday with a rich man. Your car broke and I need a new one. What can I do to get him to give me a new one? Um, when, she, when you get on the date, tell him what happened to your car and start crying. <laughs> After a few drinks. 
but don't cry like hysterically. Just like have a tear come down your eye. And he's like, what's wrong? I was like, oh, just having some issues with, with my car and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get another one. Just like save up so much, even just for a, a, a down payment. Then he'll be like, well, how much do you need? Or how, is there anything that I can do to help? Or Don't cry. I'll help you. And then hold his hand and squeeze it tight. <laughs> I'm like, really? You're so sweet. Oh, my gosh. You think we can go there tomorrow? <laughs> Get it done as soon as possible. After, if it's daytime, go there now. Go to the car dealership. Something. Get it done as soon as possible. Don't wait for no week. Don't wait for two, three days. Same day or the next day. Quick. Get it done quick. Even if you just got to go to the ATM and get to get some of his down payment. I don't know. Okay. Then he'll start paying the payments. If you start crying on the next day. <laughs> uh oh, thank you. Or Nokia, appreciate you. What about dealing with colorism as a black woman is harder for us with sugar daddy? Okay, then you need to have a larger roster. Like honestly, if you if you feel like you are being discriminated against because of colorism, then you need to have a larger roster of people. You need to have more options. Actually, that way, when you start feeling like this is not happening for you or that's this is not happening for you, then you just have another one and another one, you know, and go where you're celebrated. I always say that because a lot of people think that, you know, um, there's an unfair advantage. Well, there's an unfair advantage for everybody. You just have to go where you're celebrated. Like, I'm not getting ready to go and sit in a bar full of people that are half my age and expect to find me a sugar daddy. I'm going where the old men are with cataracts. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. They can't, they don't, even, they think I, you know what I'm saying? I'm going well, I'm celebrated and given money easily. Oh, you're going to a dance on Saturday, Denise? She or what should I wear or do to attract more money? To attract, attract men to ask you to dance? Girl, wear something that, that's going to catch the eye, man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You, if you're perusing a crowd and you're looking for somebody to dance with, what color they got on? That's what you wear. All right. I'm going where I'm celebrated. Shoot. See these gray hairs? Nobody care about that when they 60, 70. I just don't make them look so creepy. You know what I'm saying? They got the cataracts on. Your whole face is a filter. <laughs> so, yes, you got to go where you're celebrated. Don't worry about that stuff. Just have more options and go where you're celebrated. That's just it. I'm going to get mine. Right? Don't, you know, people have so many obstacles in their life, whether it's financial, educational, or whatever. Go for the easiest path. Go for the shortcut. Go for the easiest path. And once you get there, invest in yourself. Okay? Like a lot of people will say, oh, you know, I worked hard to get to where I am. And da 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 I went to school. I did this, 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 this. Okay, I went to school. I did this and that too, but I took a shortcut. I got somebody to take care of me who was much older until I could do more for myself. And ain't nothing wrong taking a shortcut if you're smart. Okay. Hmm. What I think about cosmetic surgery, unless you look like who did it and why, you don't need it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
He said working hard is in a flex. That's right. What about a nose job? Um, honestly, if your nose is, if you feel like your nose is holding you back from getting your most money or the type of lifestyle that you want, then that's literally up to you. If, if you don't feel like your looks are holding you back, then you don't need it. Okay. And as long as you don't look botched or go too far, I think you're all right. If you still look like the same person after you get up off the operating table, you did well. If nobody recognized you no more, you did too much. Sprinkle, sprinkle. There you go. All right. Um... You say you're literally starving yourself. Well, you know what? It's worth it. If you went, once you get the bag, then you can eat, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Let me tell y'all. Once you once you get the bag, go out to eat, ma'am. Once you got bag secured all the way, go eat. Eat what you want. Tips on keeping business to yourself and moving in silence. Don't talk to nobody. <laughs> this is to get some money from them. Okay. <laughs> you said it sucks though. Yo, and you once once you got the bag and you can eat whatever you want down the line, girl, you'll be you'll be fine. It'll be all worth it. All right. <laughs> Once you get the bag, you, you're going to be out to eat every day. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh oh, Norma, sprinkle, sprinkle. Wait, wait, time before sex with a potential partner. Girl, if your bills ain't paid and you still clocking in, don't be sleeping with them. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. The whole point is to free yourself. Now, if they're spending money on you, giving you money, paying bills, whatever, whatever, and you can add it up to like, between five and ten k, then maybe you can give him a little something because he's invested enough. Okay, but if he's not invested into you, if he's not, if he doesn't care if your bills are paid or if he's going to give you any shopping money or if you know if you haven't collected at least you know some thousands from him, don't be sleeping with him. <laughs> Unless you got an extra one on the side that's already paying them bills. But as long as he got money and you're not laying down anything broke, I think you're fine. Mm -hmm. Your provider tells you you don't want a woman that stays with him only because his money. How can I handle this? Then find his trait that you would want him to work on if he didn't have money. So, well, then you need to go ahead and get that perfect body going, sir. Well, you need to find a way to re regrow that hair on top of your head. <laughs> well, you need to find a way to make me laugh because you are not funny at all. And if you didn't have money, I wouldn't be. Girl, you need to speak your mind. I don't only want you to be here with me because my money. Then you better grow that hair back and get you a six pack while you're at it. <laughs> oh well i don't want you to be here only because of my money well then you better get some type of sense of humor and intelligence in a jawline <laughs> start telling them for real why are you there Well, you better start to getting to look like Aquaman. <laughs> Think I'm playing. 
better go hire a personal trainer and grow you out of bed and stuff. Um, uh oh, Amia, what age should a 27 year old date? Anybody who's 20 years older than you, 20 to 25 years older than you. That way, you're the young one, and all bills are probably most likely going to be paid. Okay. If you're trying to get bills paid, if you're just trying to date for fun, then date for fun. If you're trying to get bills paid and quit your job, girl, go 25 years older. Are you ready to retire? <laughs> You go. Okay. How to deal with an arrogant provider and physically fit 50 year old girl? Go get you a 70 year old who got cataracts that can barely walk but got a nice bank account. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Get you a 65 year old who got cataracts. You need somebody to take him to the surgery place to get his eyes done. <laughs> Fifties too young, ma'am. Okay. Because I don't even know how old you are. If you're not 20, if you're not under the age of 25, 50 is too young for you. Unless he's way ugly and trying to pay. Just started talking to this guy one month. He has only spent 700. No first date yet, but he makes like flirty comments. Okay. Forgive me, but it is 2024. You haven't had a first date. You've been talking for one month. And he's only spent $700. Okay. One month. That's 30 days, right? Let's do some math. 30 days of talking to this dude who's flirting with you for 30 days. Let's do 700 divided by 30 days. You have gotten paid $23 a day by this dude. Is that worth it to you? And no first date. Girl math. So $23 a day from a man that has not taken you out on a first date. Y'all can't even order DoorDash with that man. <clears throat> I mean that's good. That's good. It's better than nothing. I I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say it's better than nothing. I mean it's better than nothing. Some people's talking for free. All right, make sure you do a little better. <laughs> Somebody said I'll take it, double it, and we'll and then you might be getting somewhere. You know, you want a first date. Start talking about restaurants, how you haven't been out in a long time. See if he asks you out. If not, start talking about money. Because obviously he can't get out, so get some more money. How do you know if he's rich or just pretending when he gives you money and paid him bills? That's how you know. If, he, if he's stalling on giving you money, he ain't got it. What to say when you they straight up ask if you're looking for a sugar daddy? I would say, what's a sugar daddy? Oh, well, I'm not giving up any sugar unless I'm in a committed relationship with a man who's a provider. <laughs> there you go. That's how you say it. Your man got you an expensive apartment. How do you show gratitude without seeming too satisfied and making him go decorate the place when he, when you invite him over? Have, like have him a little drink ready when he comes over. You know, like every time he comes over to to visit, be like, oh my gosh, I love the apartment so much. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. And then grab his hand and lead him to the couch and like give him his, his drink. That's it. Thank you was enough, man. Every every time he come over visit, be like, thank you so much. Words. Then tell him how you need some furniture and some new stuff to decorate with. <laughs> okay.
Okay, your 27 parents help you with rent and past two men you dated shamed you for this and told me no matter how pretty I am, I still need to work even. Though, well, then they're not old enough, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle, or ugly enough <laughs> or desperate enough. You need to go find some men that will take the burden off them parents. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, because in the old days, you know, when you get married, your father is supposed to walk you down the aisle and give you away to your husband. That is an exchange of financial responsibility. Remember in the old days? Now you got people, you inviting them to your house and they ain't spent no money. Girl, no. Sprinkle, sprinkle. They shouldn't even be up in your house if they got to talk trash about who's paying the bills. How you going to go and invite it? How are... You're going to be invited to some woman's house and then complain about when someone else pays the bills. If you ain't going to pay it, then shut up. That's exactly what I would have told them. Don't shame me just because you can't afford to pay it. Don't mean I have to do anything. <laughs> That's the kind of woman you want. Then I'm not her. Go find someone within your own league. That's what I'm telling you. Know your value, ladies. Know your worth. Don't... What, just because a man says that he's not going to do this and not going to do that and you need to pay your way does not mean that that's how it, every man is. That's just how he is and how his account is set up very poorly. <laughs> okay. Oh, soothing sounds and relaxed. He already promised to send me cash because I canceled an appointment for him and he never sent the cash. You got to get it the same day, ma'am. Or... The next day, if he ain't, if you don't get it by the same day or the next day, start looking for the next pay. <laughs> the payer, <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle, okay. <clears throat> and then if he decides to give it to you, now you got more, or you haven't skipped a beat and you're still working on whatever you're trying to get the money for. You don't stop. You just, you said I'm destroying unity. No, I'm not. Unity of poverty. Poverty unity. Y'all going to be united under the bridge. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. I'm destroying poverty mind. That's what I'm destroying. Y'all can hold hands up under the bridge all day. I'll, send, I'll pass y'all a blanket and I'll be on my way in my nice car. I'll create unity again. Just throw y'all a blanket share it. Y'all acting stupid. The economy, you're creating, you're destroying unity. No, go get some money and make some more unity by giving her your money. Unite under, un, unite under marriage and give her half your money. Isn't that funny when you unite, you got to give her half your money? <laughs> right right you said Darius Lewis especially for black women black women gonna get their money regardless sprinkle you ain't got to worry about us you need to worry about how you gonna get some <laughs> sprinkle sprinkle where did I learn this lifestyle I lived it Living it, lived it, will continue to teach it. Okay. You said they are the least desired on this planet? And Darius Lewis, you telling me a Dusty is the most desired on this planet? It doesn't matter what color they are. You could be desired by anybody. Like, you telling me a 70-year-old man don't want no nice looking black woman with high cheekbones and curves. You, you telling me a 70 year old man ain't going to pay for that? You telling me one ain't drooling over right now? Wishing they could have, should have, stuff still worked? <laughs> Your main squeeze found out you lied about going to Vegas. What should I do? Tell him you had to make some money and uh, he didn't have enough to pay. He had to hit the slots. <laughs> I was going to ask you for it, but I thought if I, uh, if I could just get it gambling. <laughs> but I guess I got to ask now. 
Sprinkle, sprinkle. You said black men are the most desirable. Good for y'all. Y'all most desired in prison too. But hey, we ain't comparing. It's not a contest, sir. Just get your money up so you can afford the type of women you want. What if your provider gives you a lot? He's my age, go 31, go for it, or it will be an issue. What? I'm not dealing with nobody my age unless they got enough money to put in my bank account to where when they start acting their age, I could leave. All right? Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> All right. You said Dusty's want to reproduce for free. Nah, y'all got to pay. You said you got a lady. You didn't say a wife. So I don't take you seriously. Okay. And do you stand behind her at the cash register while she pays and do that little dusty hug? When she buying your shoes with her tax return check? He ain't got a wife. He got a lady. You can't afford a wife. All right. <laughs> uh oh, sprinkle, sprinkle. I missed your super chat. Uh oh, hold on. Okay. Uh, Auspicious says she's a dancer and she got gifts outside the club. All right. Good for you. Happy birthday, she says to me. Thank you, girl. Get your, get your money. I'm oh, sorry I missed that one. All right. What if your provider gives you a lot, but he's my age? Okay, I already answered that. Make sure you save money so when he start acting stupid, you can go. Or just date more than one. I don't know. Your man dated, okay, man dated you, spent money, but you haven't talked since he gave you a dry reply. He moved to his city. Now, should I reach out to him? Girl, don't be reaching out to no dude. You got the money. Uh, you went out with him. You got the money. And move on to somebody else that actually is interested in you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. He'll be back around to make his ghostly rounds once you you don't chase him. Then when he comes back, make sure he comes bearing gifts or you send your cash app as a reply. But don't chase a man. They are not the prize. Mm -hmm. He's giving you 15K a month. Good for you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Get your money. Be working on another one. You can get 15K from him. You can get 15K from a different one, too. Have a backup, man. Or invest that 15K and start you a business or do something. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, yeah. If the Dusty is concerned with my advice and he can't afford to pay my bills, I can't, I, I'm not listening. Okay. If you can't afford to pay all of your woman's bills, none of your advice is going to work. Oh, Misty, sprinkle, sprinkle, entertaining a couple men going away with one in the summer for two weeks. How to explain time away without the other one for jeopardizing in the relationship. Um. Tell him you're going to visit your grandma, make up a lie, make up a family member that doesn't even exist. Tell him that there's some legal stuff going on. You got to go to the funeral and sort out the will and all. Just, girl, make up some good old lie. Go watch Lifetime movies and come up with a good old scenario. Okay. <laughs> I say you got to go out of the country. Girl, lie, do something. Okay. Make sure you have a good lie. Oh, Liz Green, sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, huh. This is when a good, good story and a good lie comes in handy. 
You say you love my point of viewy, my pointy of viewy. Thank you, Liz. No, we don't listen to men that can't pay all our bills. I'm sorry. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Wait. Dude, you have nothing to offer us, not even advice. All right. <laughs> okay. How should I dress to attract older wealthy men as a person in your early 20s? Okay, well, act, dress like they're not going to be ashamed to be seen out with you in public. <laughs> nothing too trendy, nothing too, like, colorful. You know what I mean? Like, if, if you're sitting next to a grown man that has, like, a, you know, a luxury vehicles, a nice home somewhere, 401k, look like it. Spring, spring, okay. I mean, looking like he picked you up off the street or at the strip club. No, no offense, but like, you know, change your clothes, like look more um, classy and appealing to that age range. OK. Not saying that's how y'all dress. I'm just saying. Make sure you look appropriate standing next to him. Uh oh, I storm sprinkle, sprinkle. Can you be a sugar baby without sex? Of course. Mm-hmm. Just tell him you ain't he can't get that until you got the rain after the wind. If they're the same religion. You okay. If they're not, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to lie, duck and dodge. <laughs> sprinkle sprinkle. Act like you're gonna give it to them maybe in two weeks from now, and then keep making up excuses and lies. Why you can't do nothing? <laughs> but he should understand if he same religion, right? If not, you better get some good lies going. All right. But wouldn't you rather be alone, ladies? He says, I'm giving y'all the recipe to be alone. Wouldn't you rather be alone than live with a dusty? I'd rather say I, I am single and I live alone. Whether um, than saying, I live with a Dusty who doesn't pay for anything, who's broke, who can never afford to take me to a nice place, who don't buy me no birthday present, who got the hand out at bill time. I would rather say I'm single and can handle all of this than with a Dusty. I'd rather say I pay all my bills versus I live with a broke man who got their hand out at bill pay time. I would rather, I would look much better dating several with a roster than sitting up in the house with a Dusty who ain't got no money. Police. Who wants a Dusty pet? <laughs> Nobody. Okay. We don't need emotional support Dusties. We got we got uh, cats, dogs, rosters, several men that we could date to pay bills. We don't need a Dusty sitting up under us collecting even more dust. If you're not going to better our lives, don't come in it. Stay over there with your mama or whoever letting you live rent free. Pick Bisha, whatever. Okay? Don't come up over here. Go live with somebody that can help you because we can't. <laughs> All right. Going to a bar at Nobu during happy hour to find a man. Okay, well, have fun, girl. Sparkle, sparkle, have fun. Don't no one want to introduce their mama to another Dusty. Stay where you at. Okay. <laughs> Over there. Dated for a year. He's traveling all the time. He's 20 years older than you and was separated. Now he's back. Can't divorce because of money. She's not working. He's 24 7 talking about caring and providing. Feel done. Okay, well, honestly, you should have been dating other guys at the same time so that when you're tired of him, you can have a smooth transition on over to the next guy that has money. Sparkle, sparkle, okay? Never get caught up emotionally with a man. Always have options and be able to move and transition smoothly, okay? All right. Don't get caught up, ma'am. Don't believe the hype. Just believe the money. 
collect the money. That's all you need to leave. Uh, believe. Believe he's paying you. And when he stops paying, believe this it's time to go. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm-hmm. We don't deal with dust over here. That's that's for you and Pygmy should. <laughs> All right. How do you act when you catch a man cheating? If I act unbothered, is he going to pay my bills? He might. Girl, act, act fake hurt and then get distracted by something on your phone that costs a lot of money that he can buy for you. Like, for example, be like, I can't believe you cheated on me. I don't know what to do. I don't even know what to think anymore. Like, I can't trust you anymore. Oh, my God. These shoes are so cute. And so is this bag. But I'm so sad. Well, let me see the shoes. Do you want to see the shoes? Yeah, let's see. What are you looking at on your phone? What you finna buy me? <laughs> oh, sorry y'all it's time to go to the dealership to the jewelry store to the purse store to the shoe store when you catch them uh oh thank you guys while we're at sprinkle sprinkle otherwise what you catching them doing you gonna catch them you gotta find them you gotta find them find them however much it costs for their forgiveness Pair of shoes, a purse, down payment to a vehicle, whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> you said we we're failures as, as females? Okay. Well, we failed the dust. We failed the dusties. Yes. We are no longer taking care of y'all. We are no longer going to be able to deal with y'all because guess what? So we're in our dust free era. We don't deal with dust. Okay. I need to go ahead and get this book so y'all can avoid men like Darius. All right, sprinkle, sprinkle. How to date a provider and avoid a dusty by Shira Seven. Yes. Please live in a dust free era. Okay, no more. We don't do it. Y'all on your own. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all have fun with the dust over there. Not over here. Okay. What are signs a man is jealous of you if he keeps comparing and competing with you? If he's comparing your money, what you paid for, what you didn't pay for, what you should pay for. If um, he's always like asking for something from you when he's supposed to be doing for you, that's how you know. Like, it's time to go. When he calls you names, like, oh, okay. You know, that makes you feel like you're more masculine than he is or something like that. He's jealous. Okay. I can't even read, but I can write and get paid. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> oh, Ivy, sprinkle, sprinkle. You, I missed your super chat. Okay. Hold on. What does it mean if a sugar daddy asks about your experience with life and money? What should my reply be and what exactly does he want to know about me. Oh, my experience has been I've only dated providers and that's always paid for everything in my lifestyle. And I'm right now I'm reading books on how to start a small business online so that I could be more financially responsible. Um, but I'm saving up right now. That's what you say. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Okay. You said if if he keeps commenting on a live, a jealous, dusty man girl. Ain't nobody worried about that dust. Okay. <clears throat> the dust is gonna be what a dusty gonna be. If his mama couldn't help him, 
finish raising them. You already know you ain't gonna do nothing with them. <laughs> oh, AT Spark Sprinkle. I missed your super chat, girl. Hold on. Okay, let me scroll. AT. Okay, what in your what's my opinion on arranged marriage? Anything that I need to look for other than money? Um Well, do you plan on spending a lot of time with him? Make sure he ain't got no like uh Okay, if you're going to have an arranged marriage, <clears throat> it's not based on love. So you don't have to love that person. Uh, make sure if you're gonna if you're gonna marry him and have kids with him, then make sure he um, will make a good father. That's number one, and make sure um, that you will always look better than him. So make sure he's ugly, <laughs> so that he'll treat you good. Okay, so make sure you always look better than him. That he's gonna make a good father, and that he's always gonna treat you good. Otherwise. Make sure he definitely he got money for real, for real. So make sure you look better than him and he's going to be a good father and he has money. Okay. What if, what, what would you do if he catches you cheating through Snapchat? Girl, obviously you're dating the wrong age if you know what Snapchat is. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> That's why you need to date old guys. They don't even know what a Snapchat is. All right. <clears throat> you need to hide your Snapchat somewhere else in your phone, man. But if it's too late and he's already caught you, then just tell him it was your ex and he was trying to come back into your life. And you need, you know, some extra money for such and such and such and such. And you didn't want to ask him because he broke. Sprint, sprint. If he's not broke, then just say it was your ex and, you know, somebody in his family passed away and you need to was consoling him and he started talking trash and talking dirty. And we was reminiscing. That didn't happen. We was just reminiscing and when it was before we met you. Yeah. <laughs> if there's no dates or anything that y'all say y'all met up and stuff, just say that we were just remembering the old days. Last day show ex, we was reminiscing about the old days. His, his fake aunt just died and that's that. Y'all need to have some good lives. If you are cheating, never put, I will meet you. Never write, I will see you later. Always say something a little bit different. So in case you do get caught, you can use that. Okay. Girl, we was just reminiscing. I can't wait to see you again. It's like I always say, I bet you can't. Don't say, I can't wait to see you either. Say, I bet you can't. That way, it just looks like you denied him. See what I'm saying? If you're gonna cheat, you gotta you gotta cheat smart, ladies. You're gonna get caught if you dumb enough to let somebody find your phone and your Snapchat, you better be you better be good at what you do. All them messages better be saying, I bet you can't. I know that's right. Where my money? It better sound like you ain't you hadn't seen him. <laughs> or you saw him a long time ago. Okay. Who cares? I, I, if I could teach women how to cheat, if y'all gonna cheat anyway, I might as well teach them how to do it right. Better than y'all. <laughs> they get mad when the when it's turned in the opposite direction, don't they? Oh man, you can't even have a decent woman anymore. Well, how do you think we feel? Can't even have a decent man no more. Well, I guess we equal now. <laughs> Guess we're equal now. Y'all want equality? Then go, we both got to be bad. Okay. How to train a man from the beginning that you don't hang out for free? It's like, oh, you know what? Get in there and after 15 minutes, if he ain't talking about nothing, or if, if he's not... The type you think that's going to spend on you. It's like, oh, you know what? I have to go. I have to get up so early in the morning and pick up an extra shift or pick up an extra this because, you know, I have to pay, make bills this month. Oh, I'm so tired, you know. Anyway, I know I've only been here 15 minutes. It was so nice meeting you, but I really do got to get up early. Unless I can find, you know, unless I can find another way I can make these bills. 
well, how much, how much are you going to earn from your extra shift? Then name your price. Oh, you don't have to go so soon, but make sure you look 10 times better than him. And he is just getting the feeling of being out with someone on your caliber. And after about 15 minutes, you can be like, oh, I got to go. I'm so sorry. Wish I could stay. I mean, then he's going to offer you whatever you need for you to stay. Or I got to go. I have, I have my night shift that I have to go pick up real quick and because I have to make my rent. And, you know, I, I got to get this much money or to pay my notes, car note or my ticket. If you don't want to sound like you're that des desperate, it's like I've got tickets, I got to pay. And I got to pick up extra shifts and, and I'm saving for something. And, you know, it's kind of hard, but I only had 15 minutes. Uh, I didn't know I was going to like you this much. I really wish I could stay. And then it'll be like, okay. Yes, I know I'm old. Thank you. A lot of people don't make it to this age and look this good. All right. That's the whole point is to get old. <laughs> You think you live in a state, you, you think you're living to get young? That don't make no sense. How many people out here living to get old? <laughs> Raise your hand. I want to get old. I don't know about y'all. Y'all want to y'all want to stay y'all same age? That means y'all gonna die. <laughs> exactly. I'm living to get old. Super old. All right. That's why I can't deal with no dust, because they stupid. <laughs> at least the men with money know how to at least think. Okay. Okay. Yes, I, I, I just celebrated a birthday, too. I appreciate you noticing. All right. Guys don't like girls whose only concern is money and they say that they are looking for something real. But tell them to go back to their mama house. And they see these girls as escorts. They see us as helpless, which we're not helpless if we can get their money and ours too, and our own money too. How is that helpless? Let me ask y'all ladies a question. How are we helpless when we can get our money plus their money? Does that sound helpless to you? <laughs> They need to do is stop trying to play the victim role and go be the man that they are supposed to be. If you want a woman to like you for you, then you better get married because your mama don't even like you for you. Why? She only likes you because you her son. Your brother, your sister, your cousin don't even like you for you, sir. They only like you because you family. The only person that's going to like you for you is the woman that chooses to marry you. And if you got some money, that's an extra added bonus and probably a requirement. So nobody likes you for you, sir. Not even your mama. You better be glad you got some money to help you find somebody that's going to like you for you. Period. That's what you tell them. <laughs> All right. You said I missed your super chat too? Hold on. I'll be right slow, I guess. Your car your car is expensive and it scares men away. Then you better get another car that's cheap. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You better have two cars. Your car that doesn't intimidate and your car that you drive out. And you're not trying to, you know, freestyle or deal with men. You better have two. Get you a little cheap cash car. All right. Or say it's your family member's car and you're borrowing it. Okay. Y'all, if y'all don't like what I'm saying, your opinion is irrelevant. We don't care. <laughs> like, you think we're going to stop and pause and really consider what you're saying? We don't care. Oh my gosh, maybe this Dusty is correct. Or maybe we need to rethink our whole situation and give Dusty's a chance. Oop, nope, never mind. <laughs> We've come to our senses. We forgot that we're in the dust free era now and there's no going back. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Dusty's. Go try another channel. Try a channel where there's a woman wearing a bonnet and no makeup and sitting there complaining about. 
how there's no good man left and then pop up in the comments and be like, here I am, dusty and all. And, and maybe pick me, she can help you through your tough spot. I don't know. You said I'm mad at the world. How am I mad at the world? Girl, the world is the world is the place to be. What are you talking about? We're living in a dust-free era. Why would I be mad at a dust-free era? <laughs> you know what I would be mad at though? If I had to come home to somebody like you, dusty and asking for bill money. I, then then I'd be mad at the world. Yes, I would. I'd be like the world. I got a Dusty at home with his hand out of bill pay time. Oh my goodness. Why do I even wake up? I would never. I'd be mad at the world then. I'm good. I wake up every morning and say, what am I going to do today? And my answer is whatever I want. <laughs> so, maybe you mad at the world, Dusty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Darius, is that you? The black Caillou? The one that be boxing? If y'all don't know what Darius, the black Caillou is, type that in on Google or YouTube. <laughs> okay. Y'all don't have kids. Y'all don't know probably who Caillou is unless y'all watched it when y'all was a kid. I'm going to show y'all. I'm eating these chocolates. Somebody bought them for my birthday. <laughs> oh, thank you. Black Caillou. Right. Oh, shoot. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta watch. It's hilarious. I still laugh to it to this day. The black Caillou. <laughs> y'all gotta go find it. <laughs> That's the only Darius I like. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. Your 57-year-old boyfriend would say what? It's a movie producer? Should you use him to find a role or just money? Girl, girl, get his money. You could probably stay with him longer while he's giving you money than some little rinky-dink role in a movie. Dress state, get his money. And when you got enough money, you won't need him to get your role. Save your money, maybe create your own little production company or acting studio or whatever, and get your money up. Use him, build your money, save your money. Then when you got enough money in your bank to where you can risk losing him, or when you got your own business started, where you can risk losing him, then you can ask him for a role. All right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. All your clothes and bags are designer. Scares guy. Then get you some cheap clothes, ma'am. Get you some no-name clothes. <laughs> or date some billionaires. Either way. If all your stuff is designer, you should only be dating millionaires and billionaires. All right. 
Or just tell them it's fake. I don't know. It's fake. <laughs> like, oh, this ain't real. This is Scoochie, not Gucci. Then you can get some more bags by telling that you want some real Gucci. Or Louis Vuitton or whatever, Chanel. Like, this is fake. I need you to give me the real one. And then they'll be less intimidated. You said you're a super chap. You've been committed relationship with your son's dad for 10 years. And stupid me agreed I didn't need a piece of paper to prove my marriage. Okay. Well, yeah. You could have been collecting 10 years of child support, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Or however long your... he's been a father. Hopefully he's paying all the bills. If he's paying all the bills, you don't have to work. I mean, that's good. That's good. If, if the house in your name or whatever, that's good. But if you paying bills... You don't even get the benefits of tax benefits of marriage and all that kind of stuff. You need to tell them tomorrow. You can put a ring on it or I'm putting you on child support. That's the ultimatum. <laughs> child support or ring. Which one you want? Been, we've been together for 10 years. You ain't going nowhere. Just get the, get the paper. If not, I'm going to get the paper. That's going to say child support. Say it like that and you'll be married soon. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. <laughs> All you got to do is be serious about what you really want. I already have the paperwork printed out. Have the marriage license printed out and have the child support license appeared. Say which one you want to sign. Because either way, I'm going forward with one of these. You what? You said you catfished a rich man and he wants to meet me. Girl, you better go find you a drag queen and he'll put you together then, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Better go watch some RuPaul's Drag Race and get it together. All right. <laughs> I hope you didn't catfish too hard. <laughs> All right. He spends more money on his family than you. How do I reverse it or handle it? Um, well, I don't know if you're sleeping with him, but you need to cut him off in the bedroom until he's spending what you need him to spend on you. <laughs> um, okay. These girls are what? Insecure. That's why they're in the comments barking. They're jealous of you, but you're slaying here. Thank you, Farouk. That's say right. Appreciate you, girl. Woo. We know they can't get no man to pay their bills. But that's temporary. You can always change your, your, your status in life if, if you know what to do. If you choose to. Would I rather live with a provider boyfriend or get him to pay for an apartment? Uh, if he gives me money for six months of uh six months to a year worth of apartment rent ahead of time before I move in and pay for it at the same time. Yes. If not, I'll move in with him and save my money that he's gonna give be giving me anyway. Either way, I'm not spending mine. And I, I'm going to have something in the bank if I'm going to be financially responsible for a place, you know? Okay. Mm -mm -mm. You said the guys aren't guys. Okay. Well, whoever it is, at least they're having fun and not having to worry about their financial problems temporarily for now. <laughs> you know? If it makes them feel good to troll, you know, that, that, that ain't going to make the bills disappear at the end of the day or that dusty disappear at the end of the day that can't pay no bills. So. 
you, if they want to do something about their life, they will. If they won't, they don't. They don't have to. It's up to them. But it's not going to change nothing over here. <laughs> okay. How do we keep these backups from finding out about each other? Be smart. You got to be smart first. I'm, I'm trying to help y'all. Have them on different sides of town. Date totally opposite of what you would normally be dating. So, for example, if you're dating somebody older over here, how are they going to find out if you're dating someone your own age? That's, that's your cousin. That's your coworker. That's your accountant. That's your, your banker. <laughs> that's your brother's friend. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to come up with the lies before you even start. You already have to have a good lie before you even start. So get y'all a little level up journals or a notebook and start writing down lies before you even start doing anything. That way, whenever, if you ever get caught, you got a lie to cover that right quick. Cool. Okay, let me see which lie this one. All right, oh, you know, that's my, that's my cousin. Oh, you know what? That's my brother's friend. I was giving him the extra house key because he got locked out. That's his roommate. He's gay. Girl, you got to come up with some good old lies before you even start. That way they roll off the tongue like they're the truth. All right. So. <laughs> you have to lie. That's it. Don't get caught. Prepare and prevent. If you get caught, then you better have a good lie to after you get caught. You got to have a lie for when you get caught, too. <laughs> that you know he's going to accept. So get to know him. <laughs> All right. Yes. I always say that they're gay. I mean, in this day and age, they'll believe it. All right. I'm yes, Frickle Frickle. You're just sending... This as a thank you. Oh, thank you, girl. Sometimes the ladies read me to filth, but I need it. <laughs> well, stay, stay dust free, ma'am. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Angelina. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You said karma is real, late. I have a whole quote in my book. It says, if karma was real, then there would be no men. men all men would be gone if karma was real. Well, y'all know that ain't real. Look. Point proven. <laughs> if karma was real, men would not exist because they would have gotten all y'all. <clears throat> all right. That's why I don't believe. That's number one. The reason I don't believe in karma because there's still men walking around. We love men who pay bills, though. But some of y'all dusties, if karma was real for real, y'all wouldn't even be here no more. Okay. You've been dating a man who only texts once or twice a week. I suggest dates ideas, but he never follows up. And he says, girl, if you dating him. Okay, I really wouldn't call that dating a man. I would call that texting a man. Until he asks you out and texts you, you are not dating anybody. You are just bothering some poor dude that is not interested. I'm sorry to tell you, but that is the truth. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You need to find a man who can't wait to see you, who's texting you, and who's got some money for you when you arrive. Okay. Oh, Margin, no, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. That's not dating. That's that's you're actually stalking that poor man. What should you do when he asks for gifts back? Laugh. Be like, do you know what the definition of a gift is? You don't get it back. Okay. Uh-oh. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sure, you are right. My friends spend huge amounts of money on a man who's younger. He used her for money, leave, and try to warn her, but she doesn't listen. Okay. Well, she got to learn the hard way, obviously. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. I went. You say, see, I told you. And then maybe she'll listen to you next time. 
<laughs> okay. But yes. Don't be stalking that man. If he's not if he's not looking for you, then y'all ain't dating. All right. You've met older men, and on the first day he tried to kiss twice. I told him off and I grocery money from him. How do I get okay? You got grocery money from him? Okay, well then now you gotta lie. Now you gotta start lying. You'd be like, you know what? I've been thinking about that time you tried to kiss me. And I've been thinking about how that would be. And, you know, I really just, you know, I really want to be comfortable with you and spend more time with you. But, you know, I really don't like, you know, spending time with guys that aren't going to invest in me and, you know, make me feel safe and secure. So how can we both get to a level where we're both comfortable with each other? I mean, it would be nice if you could, you know, take me out to a nice restaurant, take me shopping. That would make me feel much closer to you. To where I feel like I could feel safe and be with you, you know, more in a more friendly way. Just keep dragging it all and never get to the sex. <laughs> it's like, let's try first by holding hands while you take me shopping in a mall. Or just say, let's try first holding hands in the mall and walking around. And then when he goes to the store, he starts buying you stuff. You like kiss him on the cheek after he get out and he hands you the bag, man. Just use little pieces at a time. You drag him along. All right. How do I use these principles as a lesbian? Okay. The masculine one pays. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I don't know. If y'all are both femme lesbians, y'all better flip a coin. <laughs> or whoever, whichever one look better. Don't pay. That's how it goes. Sprinkle, sprinkle. The better looking one pays the least, I guess. <laughs> the masculine one, you better have your money. The better looking one pays the least. There you go. I, I don't know. <laughs> That's how I figured it would work. I don't know. I look too good. You better pay. That's how it works in any dynamic. If they're old, you got lesbian cougars. The older, older one pay. Unless the young one wants the older one more, I don't know. You said the stud better pay. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, y'all know it's the same dynamic. Look too good for the person that trying to get you and they'll always pay. Thank you, Grace. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Grace and Spice. Thank you, girl. I got to go in a few minutes, y'all. But I don't know why I would be any different. You said it's funny how supposed Christians keep talking about Buddhist teachings like karma. Exactly. Make up y'all mind what religion y'all are. <laughs> Like, dang. I don't subscribe to that. <laughs> you say your crush is dating your bestie. How to deal with this? I'm so sad. And I, girl, go go find somebody with some money. Then you won't be sad at all. Why are you shopping? <laughs> You must be young. That's so sweet. If you go find somebody with money, your bestie will be jealous of you. And then maybe you can get your crush back and keep the one with money too. Sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> All right. How to get what you want from somebody very smart that sees through your manipulation. Um, tell them, I know you're smart. And I know that I'm not going to be able to tell you anything except how I truly feel. And intelligence is very important to me. And I don't want to 
make you feel like I'm manipulating you in any way. But I only date providers. <laughs> I just want to put that out on the table right away. I, that, those are my standards. And it's not manipulation. It's just one of my standards. Period. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> That's how you do that, ma'am. Okay. Recognize that he's smart, but you still ain't finna bend your standards for him. <laughs> Either he can get up and walk or he can explore the option. <laughs> All right. You said all the guys only want to hit. They're too young, ma'am. You need to find somebody that can't hit. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Or need a pill to hit. That's where you get the money. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> if you can't hit or you need a pill to hit, you're more likely to get more money. Okay, write that down. It's going to be my next book. They, they quick to hit when they don't need, when they can and when they don't need no pills. Uh oh, Samaria, Sprint, Sprint, Samara. You asked him for some money. He said, I got you, but no details. We meeting Sunday. Should I remind him what to do? Yeah, I say, you bring my money. <laughs> so, did you stop at the ATM on the way? He said, you got me. I've been waiting on that line. I, I already paid my grandma's rent. Tell him you spent the money before you got it, man. That way he feels responsible for your financial decision because he said he got you. Oh, I'm so glad you said you got me. Make sure you stop by the ATM because I already told my grandma I'm paying that rent. Oh, shout out to Camille. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Camille is the editor of my book. Thank you, girl. Look how I look. <laughs> Y'all need y'all books edited. Shout out to Camille. All right. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. I bet her husband about 80. He ain't that old. You said you feel bad for the old man. Why would you feel bad for the old man? He's living his best life. Look, look who he's married to. Too. When you 80, you'd you probably be like, I wish I was married to somebody as beautiful as Shira, who I can afford to pay all her bills. So you want to be married to an 80 year old when you 80, sir? <laughs> I don't think so. He gonna go out with a smile, man, sir. He's gonna he's gonna he gonna die smiling because he's he gonna still be looking at my face. I know I had a pretty wife and a good life. <laughs> All old men wish they could die looking at a pretty face. You say you're not beautiful? I'm beautiful to an old 80-year-old. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> okay. All right. And James ain't 80. <laughs> All right. Anyway. But I know I look good to any 80-year-old right, right now, okay? I tell you who is 80. This is Ron Isley. Still making songs. He, got a, he had that last song out with Beyonce. He still look good for his age. Shoot. Drifting on a memory. That's 80 when you got money. <laughs> Ain't no place I'd rather be than we. You got to learn them old school songs to get them old men. Okay, put on some Isley Brothers. To a bottle. Dim the lights. Tell him don't forget that envelope full of cash. <laughs> Here you go. Get your old school playlist on. Break out them old records. Why y'all think I got records? 
See my LPs? Them old people like the crackling. Crackling of the records, how they used to sound. You got to pop that up in there right now. My record player. That's how you get the money, man. Make sure you have one of these. Let's take me back to the old school. All right. You got us in a stupid fight. What? With your man, and he started to call you stupid. I knocked his hat off his head, and then he grabbed me by my shirt. Girl, all men are stupid. You ain't got to tell them to their face. Just treat them like they're stupid. That's all you got to do. So he grabbed you by your shirt. Well, make sure. Go in there, put some rips and stains on it, and make him go buy you another shirt. Sprinkle, sprinkle. An expensive shirt, man. Take your fingers and mess up your shirt. Get the little scissors. You messed up my shirt. <laughs> How to make him regret after he left you? Go get a richer one. That's the only time men regret losing you is when you get a better one with more money. Otherwise, they left for a reason. If they have to second guess why they left you because you with a man that makes more money, that's the only reason that they're going to regret leaving you. I mean, you could pull one with more. How to damage control X ex, exes lie about me? Lie about them. Have better lies. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> okay. If he, if he has the audacity to sit there and make up lies about you, have even more audacity to make up better lies. What you going to do? Call him and beg him to stop lying? Hello, X. Please stop lying. That ain't going to work. Just make up something so bad about him, he ain't going to mess with you no more. And you better, you better use some Photoshop or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, you know, his nickname was Pinkie Pie for a reason. <laughs> Do you think it's easier for rich men, for women to find a rich man or for a man to find a pretty woman? It's easier for a woman to find a provider who will provide for her than it is for a man to keep a pretty woman. How I will, I will phrase it like that. You could get you a pretty woman all day, but can you keep one? Because she's just going to be on to the next one with more money. Can you keep a pretty woman? That's the question. Because, <laughs> you know, we are trying to level up all the time. If you ain't got no money, then you just wanted the many on our way to the money. Okay? You're 52 and you just started thinking the way you do. How do I start? Keep thinking that way, man. Only think about your money because that's all you're going to have left. And if a man really likes you, he doesn't want you to suffer or, you know, pay for him. Okay. Just think about this. If a man truly likes you, wants to be in your presence, he's not going to want you to pay for much or anything at all. And he's going to want you to be happy and have what you want. Okay. Okay, he was obsessed with you, talked all day for six months. One day, all of the sudden, he, girl, he's married. Blocked you for no reason. Girl, his girlfriend came back. He was separated. He got back with his wife. He found another one. This means leave him alone. He's hiding something. He's with another woman. His wife came back or his ex-girlfriend came back. Or he's in prison. <laughs> Either one. Okay, just... That's why you should have been getting his money, putting it in your bank account and saving it and had you a backup because you wouldn't have gotten attached and you wouldn't even, you'd be like, oh, I guess he, his wife didn't came back or he didn't, you know, found another one or his girlfriend or he went to jail. I don't know. You have a smooth transition onto the next. You should have been dating several at the same time. That way you don't get attached. And when they disappear or they stop calling you or they block you, it's okay, on to the next. Okay, there's no guarantees. 
just make sure you make sure you have a smooth transition for the next one to get their money. Okay. What do you think about mob wives? They bought their money. Sparkle, sparkle. Mm hmm. He says, are 60 year olds also looking for the 20 year olds? Yeah, until they get with a 20 year old and can't keep up with them, then they go, well, I think I need to go for 30s. <laughs> they might try to start off with them 20 year olds. When they can't hang out every night, they got to go to the 30, 35 year olds, okay? They'll start up when the midlife crisis hits in men and they want to feel young again. They'll go try to get them a 20 something, right? But the 20 something going to be wanting to hang out, go place after place. Them 60 year olds can't hang like that. So they'll date a 20 something year old, then they'll date a 30 something year old. And they'll be like, okay, this is more of my speed. She ain't trying to be out every night, all night, going to the after hours, going to the, uh, the food truck, taco truck, you know, they. That make them go to the bathroom. They got medicines they got to take in between uh, <laughs> clubs. <laughs> so, honestly, they'll try to date something young in the beginning until they find someone more their speed, you know. <laughs> okay. You say he was super rich, but I don't know for what reason, man, blah, blah, blah. Girl, he probably went to prison, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Or he probably had to go somewhere else. Or he got a new woman. Or maybe he was the side chick and didn't know. Who knows, man? Get you another one. You can get him, you can get another one. All right. Oh, Fatima, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. Look, this is how I'm this is how I'm feeling. Why are you hung up on this one? If you can get him, you can get one just like him. You get it? He ain't the only one. <laughs> That's it. You telling me he's the only man with money that can ever possibly like you? Go get another one. Okay. All right. <laughs> see. Oh, that's my that's my cue. I got to go. But thank y'all everybody who donated. I appreciate you. Thank you to all the people that don't like my videos but stayed here for the whole how many hours? Three hours and 27 minutes. I really appreciate you guys for not liking what I do and not supporting what I do. I really appreciate. It. Also, y'all click like. Thank y'all everybody who are new subscribers. If y'all want to get notified when I go live, y'all hit that subscription bell like twice to get notifications when I go live. And thank y'all everybody who donated on um, Cash App. Let me see. I got one more. Thank you, girl. Lydia or Linda. You love my book? Thank you, girl. Thank you, Venus. Thank you, Mimi. PGR. Ovita, Olivia. Thank y'all. Thank y'all everybody who donated on here. Thank y'all everybody for my birthday gifts once again. And thank y'all everybody who has bought my book, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Living in a dust free era. I appreciate you guys. Um, so I'll see y'all on the next video. And y'all have a great rest of your day.